Tick tock, time to rock. Rocking it all the way into the new year with D Wood and Slow Cab Malone. How you doing, <laughs> Vocab? What's up, man? Happy New Year, almost. Yep. Man, I'm, I'm super glad to be here, man. I, I found this hat at the last second, though. It's the same one you wore to be Santa in the Boom Boom Room. Yeah, and, and he, so- uh, he, uh, he, he only jumped on that because he saw I had a hat. Yeah, and I saw how awesome and epic and cool you looked, and I realized... Yeah, see, it's it's kind of like a witch's hat, though. It says Happy 2020 on it. Yeah, well, son of a witch, you are. You know, I have another hat that's in the uh, wardrobe closet that I don't really want to wear that is has a similar shape to the one you have, except the problem is it's all oh. white. <laughs> that was... Uh... <laughs> He's talking about our KKK costume, I think. Is, it, is yes. that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. So, if, if you don't know what we're talking about, go ahead and watch uh, Muhammad Meets a Klansman video that yeah. got banned for, gosh, how much? A couple months? Yeah, it was it awful. Like it was a couple months, yeah. Wow, and, then, and then they eventually just restored it. It was weird. I'm going to improve my lighting here. I'm going to look cooler here in a second. Well, everyone, we are, uh, we're just going to basically hang out for the next two hours until the ball drops. And then I'm going to fall into a coma-like sleep because I am tired. And you want to start off the new year with a good night's sleep. Sleep. Hey. Hey. What? Look. look. I hear an app. What did you, what did you unplug that? Unplug? That's the problem. That's the problem. I, hear I hear an echo. echo. Not anymore, you don't. All right. So basically, guys, we're just, we're just going to be chatting the entire time. Um, I, take I any questions. Better than you because all you got is like drapes or something behind you, you know? Although vocab keeps saying he's got like 20 things he wants to do in 2020. So we're going to have to hear those things. And, uh, uh, you, you know, the fewer things you like, uh, set as your resolution and stuff, the more likely you are to, to keep them right. Yeah, but they're small things like 20. Yeah, 20. It's I mean, 20. If, if it's 20 things and they're small, like, you know, rearrange my sock drawer and, and things like that. No, I don't have personal stuff on there. This is all stuff related to the ministry, to the channel. Oh, okay. Not That's I mean? good. Yeah, That's stuff good. like that. 20 ministry things? Ministry and, and channel things? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's a bunch. Yeah, we'll see what you think, though. Maybe you'll think <laughs> they're good. Maybe they're not. Hey. Uh, hang on quick. Shout out to Mr. Snuffleupagus Esquire for... Joining the Boom Squad, the greatest squad of all squads. It's the greatest squad of all squads. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Andrew Graham says uh, it's been uh, January 1st for half a day now. So I'm guessing he's uh, on the opposite side of the world. Maybe Australia or something. That sounds sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, we got lots of happy New Year's wishes. Beth Bob. Zuby Buzz. Diana S. 121 Jones. So, David, what color for my bookshelf do you think is a good New Year's color? Watch, because I can make it all kinds of colors from my phone. Um, I think one of your 20 things should be getting that for all your shelves so that one shelf just doesn't look stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, it's really expensive. (laughs) <laughs> what what do you got there you need one two three four about five more yeah you gotta yeah. get it it's gonna it's gonna look it's gonna look cool it would look cool but... people are people are gonna be so impressed that they're just gonna keep uh watch your channel just to to be mesmerized by your cool lit up bookshelf i hope so right, now right, right now you look like a poor dude who like just came up with just enough money to get one shelf done which is which is true right Yes, that's true. And also, <laughs> I have to touch up the gray in my beard real quick. Do you actually do that? No, only when I'm live on air. <laughs> this is awesome. Hang on, we got a couple of shout outs here. This is this is this is cool, man. This is like confession time. Vocab is dude, I have to say I like the I like a little bit of the gray, man. I t- I keep telling you it's got that uh that everlast once you started like, you know. I mean, I like a little bit. But I just want to moderate it, you know? <clears throat> Um, and you know, even though, uh, even though, uh, Mr. Fantastic had his on the side, 
it was cool, right? You got to have a little gray in there. It makes you look uh, wiser. Um, you know the Hebrew Israelite's going to take this, right? Take this clip of yeah. color in your beard? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've we, stopped we, caring we, with We already have some Hebrew Israelites uh, in the chat. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, they think they all think I grew my beard because I want to be like them and I've been hanging out with them. They yeah, actually... not, not because you always wanted a beard and weren't allowed to have one for work until your work finally allowed you to. Yeah, the, yeah, but you know, I've stopped trying to explain <clears throat> things to them and I've stopped caring what they think, honestly. Oh, I realized I was out of frame. It was just like the side of my wow, this is pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, sh uh, quick shout out to Cheryl R for the super sticker. Um, Cyber X Speed for joining the Boom Squad. Boom Squad is going to like blow up and be like a million people. We'll be funding all kinds of channels. Uh, Christopher Young says uh, in the Super Chat says, Happy New Year to the dynamic duo. What's the latest on your brother, David? Uh, actually, guys, remind me in about five minutes. And the reason is that when I did a live stream yesterday, uh, people were asking at the beginning how my brother's doing. I gave them an update. And then for the entire rest of the live stream, people, keep, people who weren't there at the very beginning kept coming and asking uh, how my brother's doing. So uh, give me uh, give me five to ten more minutes, and then we'll we'll talk a little bit about my brother. Do have a little little bit of an an update. Um, oh, uh, I've been meaning to ask you real quick, David. How's your brother doing? We'll talk about that in a couple minutes. And what kind of dirt bag, what kind of dirt bag is going to do that to be talking about my brother to be funny? You see, you see, you see what we're dealing with here, right? By the way, on on beards, because what what you get from the Hebrew Israelites, I get the exact same thing from Muslims, right? Right. You're trying, right, right, you're trying right. to look like a Muslim. Not realizing I have always my entire life wanted a beard. I want one of the cool beards. What are those dudes called? What are the dudes? No, no, no. What, you? what are the <clears throat> what are the dudes who sit around like drinking whiskey and and or or like sitting in coffee shops and they have like a long beard? Uh Muslims? No. <laughs> no, like 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 Christians, lots of Calvinist dudes. They have those long beards. Oh, you want to be reformed. You want to smoke a cigar. I don't want to be reformed, dark, but one of those cool dudes who beard. sits around with a long beard. Now, unfortunately, I yep. can't because when my beard gets long, it kind of grows out, right? So oh, you, you can see you, some, you can see some videos where I where I let my beard grow a little bit and it starts it starts, starts growing out. Here's what you need. You need beard oil, okay? I use some <sighs> This is actually my friend Marcus Pittman, right? From Apologia. He actually makes his he, – he sponsors his own beard oil. This is the Christmas blend, and it's called King Ginger's Christmas Blend. You put it on, your beard smells like Christmas magic. You have no idea how good my beard smells right now. I've, my I've, smells... Never, I've never wanted to know how your beard smells. Please don't tell me how your beard, beard smells. My uh, beard smells – just like my hat looks, but better. If I okay. ever get close enough to you to know how your beard smells, it's because we're we're finally fighting and I'm choking you out on the ground. And Islamicize me, we did get close like that several times. Yeah, that was and see, pretty... so here's the thing. You put this you didn't on. You have a beard. Well, yes, but you put this on and uh, it makes your beard smell good and you put it down. It gives it a little luster and it helps hold it down. My point is there's products for this. You're not the first person that has, you know, Grizzly Adams beard. You can take care of it, though. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so uh, so I always wanted a beard. The problem was for most of my life, I had a big, I forget where it was. I had a big, basically like a sort of a half dollar shaped bald spot uh, where hair just didn't grow. And then for some reason, I mean, it took a call. It slowly started filling in over time. And then it finally filled in. And as soon as that started, as soon as that filled in mostly, then I was like, cool, I can get my beard now. And then Muslims are, ah, you're trying to be like us. We invented the beard. <laughs> yeah. The other problem you had is you had that giant, bulbulous, nasty, gross thing on the top of your neck. Yeah, it just yeah, makes yeah. everything look bad, you know? Yeah, it does. That, it's, that, pretty, it's pretty hideous. Well, that's why I wanted a beard to cover some of that up. All right. Well, I know we're going to get started, but first I wanted to make a drink live on air. What kind so of in here, I've got lime and candy cherries, first of all. See that? Okay. Next, David Wood, is I this, have this. But, is this a New Year's thing, or is this just like what you do like when you're thirsty? Uh, both. Okay. Now, you can't see this as well as you need to, but do you have any guesses what this is, David? Uh, estrogen? <laughs> all right, here it comes. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Oh, uh, Death Star Ice Cube. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, if you could just see it live, it looks so much better. And so that goes in the mason jar. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was classic. That was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> that was not planned. Hey, you got, you... huh? Um, what? What? We all understand that as I'm going through comments here, Vocab's going to be sitting there uh, cleaning up glass. <laughs> what are the odds, man? You got to you got to use a bigger. <laughs> you know if you're if you've got a giant chunk of ice and you're trying to to ram it into a, a mason jar that you should make sure it actually fits, right? Okay, hang on. Uh, Benjamin Handelman, shout out for joining the Boom Squad, and Carol L for joining the Boom Squad. By the way, those of you on the Boom Squad. Um, Supposedly, I, I up I uploaded the badges, and supposedly after one month, the badge changes from Moomin Rider to Genos, and uh, I haven't seen any Genoses yet, and I know it's been a month, so I don't know how that works. Uh, if you guys see a Genos somewhere, let me know. Unless unless they they wait for like a full uh, a full like the full month, like all of December, even though people signed up in uh some people signed up in uh in november maybe they go all the way through december i don't know i just haven't seen any uh any genoses yet um shout out to elvis bose happy new year maranatha and the super chat all right uh <laughs> i am already way behind on comments but uh I i'm 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 trying to restrain cracking up laughing for the next 10 minutes over vocab exploding that i want to take that clip because that is uh that was an epic clip um so uh i can i can tell a lot of the people who must be from australia and new zealand and so on happy new year already for those of us in the future it's kind of a similar situation for me and vocab because uh he's out in arizona and so he's a couple couple hours behind me so when i actually wish everyone Happy New Year here in about an hour and 40-some minutes. Uh, vocab is still going to be in 2019. That's how he is. He's always behind. He's always behind the times. Um, hello, David. Happy New Year. Happy New Zealand Year to all. Um, happy New Year from London. So, yeah, basically anyone, anyone across the ocean is... Let's go already, already the new year. Guys, any, has anything cool happened? Has anything cool happened in the, in the new year? Hi, how you doing, vocab? <laughs> All right, I just got to, I'm worried that I'm going to drink some, some glass now or something, but, uh, Man, they're they are banging hardcore outside my window. I did cut myself a little bit. Oh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty intense, dude. Yeah, it's all that's good, gonna be man. an awesome story for. <laughs> yeah, years I, that to come was, now. That was not planned. That definitely is not my intention in any way. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to transfer it over. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll and hopefully this. You're no you're problem. you're pouring that into another cup. Yeah, why hold, not? Hold on, you just shattered the glass inside that glass and you're like well i don't want to mess up my drink so i still want to drink it so yeah exactly i'll just use a straw to try to hopefully avoid eating any glass chunks do you think do you think i'll be all right uh yeah but you should uh, sort of filter it through your mouth before you know what i mean swish it around in your mouth a little bit make sure there's no chunks of glass in there I'm it, 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 it reminds me of like when i cook eggs and i get eggshells in my eggs and i'm like eh, who cares i'll just chew them up but that's like glass dude I've heard of people eating glass before. I've, uh, you know, that happens. All right. So first, I put sparkling water on top of the Death Star cube, right? Yeah. Uh, so we, we got a. Uh... Okay. Well, fi finish. Finish your recipe. So I got some sparkling orange water. First, first start okay. at the beginning for anyone who just tuned in. Oh, uh, I got limes and candy cherries, and I put some sparkling water as the base, and I put some Italia lime juice in there so i got actual limes some candy cherries you know you know you know the maraschino whatever and then i put the sparkling water base okay now i think i'm running out of room in here but i'm gonna put a little bit of actual orange juice just a tad all right 
I might have to do this one other time throughout the show, but I won't try to be so distracting with it. I'll just kind of do it in the sneak tip, you know what I mean? And then I'm at a little bit of Red Bull. I mean, we are going to be up all night, right? No, we're going to be up for an hour and 40 minutes, and then uh, the ball's going to drop, and I'm going to be asleep. Are you serious? I'm going to conk right out, dude. Well, I'm not. I'm going to be amped because I'm putting a little bit of Diet Mountain Dew in here. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, I got to drink some of it down because I need to add one other thing, which is sugar-free raspberry Tarani. It's a flavor device. Mm -hmm. I add that. Do you think I should add any ingredients that are rated PG-13 or should I leave those out? I've never had that many ingredients in anything. What do you mean? What about soups and stuff? I'm talking about drinks, man. Obviously, if I make a pot of chili, then I'm putting a lot of ingredients in it or something like that. I'm talking about drinks. You got like 10 things in there. Yeah, it's pretty good, though. It is definitely pretty good. It's real flavorful, real smooth, too. It's not like a soda. You know, it's got like a natural kind of nice feel in it. You know what I mean? It's real good. And it's looking cooler by the second. I mean, look at this. This freaking looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 sure. It sure does, man. Okay. Um, we, we'll get started about the serious stuff. I just just got to finish this up. That's all. Um, yeah, where's that comment from Christina? She, she posted a cool comment here. A little uh, trouble. Christine S. in the Super Chat said, uh, Happy New Year from London. Sending this gift in 2020 back to 2019. I'm oh, enjoying the nice. party was beginning to get bored in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> she, hello, Marty. She's all Marty McFly. <laughs> 20, 2020 was boring, so she had to she had to go back to 2019. Um, Man, I saw this really really messed up uh, skit. I'm trying to remember it was some comedy troupe on uh, Facebook, uh -huh. and there's a part in there where they're talking about um, time travel and in some movie, right? And the guy's like bringing up all these problems with the time travel, and he's like, not only that. You'd have to deal with the Marty McFly syndrome. And he's going to talk about, you know, erasing yourself and all this. And the guy looks at him and goes, Parkinson's? That's messed up, dude. See, that's a, that's the sort of stuff you like, right? That's the sort of stuff. And it's messed up because I'm a psychopath. And I, I can sit here, man, go, no, that's messed up. Shouldn't say stuff like that, right? That That's like when we were doing uh, Muhammad meets uh, Stephen Hawking. And... My original line is, uh, I just have a quotation. Uh, almost everything Stephen Hawking says in that video is just actual quotes from Stephen Hawking. And then Stephen Hawking gives this quote about if I could, if I could uh, fix any failing in mankind, it would, you know, it would be like aggression or whatever. And I said, if I could, <laughs> and so I said that, and then vocab blurts out, "Not your legs," and. Uh, See, you think that you're sitting there cracking up laughing. I'm laughing that you think that's that you think that's hilarious because you're a messed up dude. I'm thinking in the mind of Muhammad, right? So yeah, yeah, but no, 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 you're thinking in the mind of vocab alone, and you know you can get away with it because you're gonna say, "Oh no, it's just Muhammad, man." He's he's earnest, he's honest, he says what comes to his mind, you know. And so yeah, David had this line, which is Stephen Hawking. He's like, "If I could fix any feeling in humankind, it would be aggression." In the Muhammad. Because I said it in the script when you were reading it. You know, we were going through it. And uh, not your legs. <laughs> oh, man. I, I think say. I am going to get cut on glass. I see glass all over the studio. Uh, nothing like that's ever happened before, just so you know. I'm pretty much a professional when it comes well, to good. making. It's, it's cool that, that we got it live. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much a professional when it comes to making my Italian um, soda uh, infused with flavor devices. Yeah, I can imagine if you were like a, like a bartender or something like that, trying to show someone your, your epic drink skills. And then you like sh shower everyone with glass and people have glass stuck in their eyes and stuff like that. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty bad, man. But All okay. Right. Uh, I think we should start uh, with um, uh, update on my brother. And then you can go through your, your 20 things. You're going to fail at in 2020. All right. I'll let you know. People are saying that drink I made is bad for me. Why? Why is it bad for me? You know, animal, I think you're being very um, culturally insensitive right now because that essentially is a an infused Italian soda. And it feels like you're dissing yeah. my culture. Yeah. Italians are the, the most healthy people in the world. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you know, fat Joey and skinny Tony and three fingered, you know, Frankie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um. Me, me, me and Nabil were standing outside of a, 
Me and matter of fact, we passed it. We passed it when we were heading to New York. But um, me and Nabil were standing outside of an uh, Italian restaurant one day, and all these Italians were standing out there. And I go, "Hey, Nabil, watch this. Hey, Tony!" And like three guys turned around. <laughs> you know the old joke I, is. I was cracking up at that for like a, like like three hours. Well, funny because Anthony Rogers' name is Tony. That's what yeah, every, yeah. everyone does uh, in his real life. Because I don't know if you guys know Anthony Rogers is Sicilian. They don't call him. You know what I mean. Uh, you know, Anthony, everybody calls him Tony, right? So yeah. the, the old joke is, you know, what happened is um, when the Italians from Sicily were leaving, you know, it's like they asked him where they're go- where they're going. And they said uh, to New York. And so they just stamped on all their foreheads to NY. And then when they got on the other side of LSI and they're all like, hey, Tony, because <laughs> I saw two NY. And True all story, everyone. True story. Uh, quick, uh, let's see, uh, uh, before we jump into the update, um, from, uh, Onim, not rice. Onime? What is that? What is O-N-I-M-E? It looks like anime, but with a O. Onime? Onime, no rice? Uh, says, uh, from New Zealand, says, Happy New Year to you two. Uh, thank you for all you do. Your forecast for New Year's Day is overcast. It's overcast here in Auckland, New Zealand. Big ups. Um, all right, quick update on. Let me pull up one of the many, many requests for an update on my brother. Um, so the news so far, the, the, basically the last update was that uh, he's been improving a little bit each day. Nothing terribly dramatic, but uh, the the good the the good news is that for the first few days, the only functions he seemed to have were. Uh, functions that are associated with with the brain stem, so basic activities related to survival, like reflexes, um, uh, pupils dilating, things like that. So uh, very very basic functions like that. <coughs> um, whereas the the update from my mom today was that um, he's able to speak in in kind of whispers. Um, he's still. Uh, He's still pretty disoriented. Um, the question that he could actually answer was that they asked him, does he know where he is? And he said Morgantown. So he got the town right, but he, he spent a lot of his life in, in Morgantown. Um, mom said he is kind of like kind of kind of like rambling stuff that doesn't make any sense. So he was saying something. He was sitting there saying something. Oh, he's, he, he's, he owes me two dollars and 13 cents. He owes me still owes me two dollars and 13 cents, which isn't connected to anything. But um the good side is that is that is higher brain function, right? That is not that is not brainstem activity. That's uh th- that's you know sort of confused memories and things like that. But he is uh, he he's got some speaking, and he's got some memories, uh, not great memories right now. But again, he's been improving a little bit, been improving a little bit each day. So uh, I'm probably I, I got to go to vocabs. Uh, I think I'm coming to your place out on the ninth. We're gonna record. Uh, we've posted 17 episodes of the Boom Boom Room. We have three more that we've recorded but haven't been posted. Um, we realized after after the after the Muhammad meets Santa that we just had Muhammad convert to Christianity, and we mm-hmm. basically had we basically had two options. One, we could just completely ignore that and just proceed with Boom Boom Rooms, and he proceeds as a Muslim. That would kind of fit because I mean he all, he blows himself up every week and and then comes back, and so. Uh, there's not a lot of logic to the boom boom room, uh, but we decided instead that even though we had we we already have a few more episodes recorded, we'll go ahead and pause those real quick and then get together for the final uh, to record the final five episodes of the season, and then whichever one is next, whichever one is next, we will have Muhammad apostatize probably because he finds out that Jesus and all his followers were Jews and he'll you know flip out and. And reject Christianity and, and go back to uh, to Islam, and so we'll do something like that. We'll 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 have that in some sort of creative way. Anyway, I'm heading to vocabs on the ninth. I would definitely want to get to see my brother. Um, want to drive to see? It's about a seven hour drive, so I want to get to see my brother again before then. And uh, so probably a few days and a few days from now, I'll drive to Morgantown, West Virginia, and I'll record an update. I'll record an update uh, and post that. So that's the update on my brother. If anyone comes in later and says, hey, can I get an update on Manny? Then uh, just tell him, hey, uh, go back and watch earlier. 
Uh, people are people are joking on your uh, on your drink there. That concoction is ridiculous. Well, they're clearly all racist, so I have no time for bigots. So I'm just going to block them all. But, but, um, but, but, okay, just so you know, when you were making that, it reminded me of something. It reminded me of fifth grade. In fifth grade, students were required to come up with some sort of invention, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so people were inventing things and stuff like that, trying to come up with their own in inventions. I invented a uh, a device that would shoot a rubber band at someone who walked in my room. Uh, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course. But uh, <laughs> a lot of the – several of the really, really lazy students invented drinks, right? So they just came in with a – with a bottle full of their drink and they explain, yo, I mixed it with half Kool-Aid and then some soda. And then I added more sugar to it. And then I squirted some lemon in there. And th so they just go in there on how they invented a drink. And, uh, they, 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 all they did was just pour a bunch of stuff that was in their refrigerator in their, uh, in their bottle. But, uh, yeah, vocab, that's, uh, that's basically what you just did. Well, I got a whole nother level. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, there's like eight ingredients in this thing, so you know that doesn't count the straw. Um, hey, when you're you said your brother had some whispers. Were you listening to what I said? Yeah. Would you describe them as careless? What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Vocab will joke about anything, right? I got a I got a brother who we, everyone just thought was was possibly brain dead. Matter of fact, that's what the doctor said. My mom said the doctor after she was telling my mom uh, basically. Um, He's not going to recover from this. He's going to die. So take him to a place where they're going to give him comfort care and keep him, uh, uh, just keep him there until he dies. And then once he started uh, basically uh, speaking a little bit and whispering, she said that doctor will not come around her anymore because the doctor's going to look like an idiot. Uh, so anyway, but then vocab just jokes about it like it's uh, the funniest thing in the world. This is a sick well, dude, no, right? He jokes about like no. disabled people and careless and, whispers. Yeah, I know. I know what the reference uh -huh. is to. It's just. Uh, wasn't it? Well, it's you know what? Here's the thing. When I when we first started hanging out more, you know, Nabil, Nabil had passed. Yeah. And I kind of reached out and stuff, and I and uh, it was like, you know, radio silence, and I realized this dude doesn't even care about no like comfort. This dude doesn't want any condolences at all. He just Who, me. Yeah, that's, like that's that's true. That's and true. So, and so I decided it's better when stuff like this happens to kind of like make fun of stuff. <laughs> So you go to the opposite extreme, right? Look, whenever, <laughs> whenever tragedy strikes, the first thought, that this is, this is sad. This is sad. It's part of my disorder, but, uh, it's basically the first thought when anything bad happens is crap. Now a bunch of people are going to try and call me. They're going to mm -hmm. text me. They're going to send me emails and they're going to be like, Oh, I'm so sorry for, for what happened and stuff. Like, like that's supposed to do anything. Right. Um, whereas, <laughs> so so vocab vocab caught on. Hey, I'm uh, you know I'm I'm, just, I'm I'm not terribly interested in in that sort of thing. I understand that people have good intentions. It's just really annoying. Um, but vocab, yeah, he goes in the other direction. Let's all let's all joke. See, now you're reminding me. Now you're reminding me of my dad. I, I tell people during my testimony that uh, my friend Jimmy Lindholm died parasailing, and that's where I realized I was kind of messed up. Um, that you know I was having no emotional reaction to my best friend dying in a parasailing accident. Um, but I went home and my dad started joking about that. And I was like, like, okay, I have no emotional reaction, but this guy's, this guy's joking about it. So, uh, anyway. Really? Your dad, the funniest thing you ever said about your dad <laughs> is when we were talking about those Hebrew Israelites mm -hmm. and, you know, it wasn't funny cause they like, you know, murder people. But yeah. then they said that they had had, they found handcuff keys. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, on them. And I was talking about it on a live stream. And David comes in the live chat and says, <clears throat> my dad always carried handcuffs keys with him everywhere he went to. Yeah. And I thought it was the strangest thing. I didn't even know that was like a, a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so we were talking about – so, so uh, yeah, my dad uh, just had the habit of always carrying a handcuff key in case of emergency. So I never knew my dad to be – I mean – See, it's weird because by that time, you know, by the time he was older, my dad was like in the military and stuff. It made sense. It would make sense when he was younger. He was, uh, he was a drug dealer. He was, uh, he, he got, he got busted several times. Um, he got out of, he got out of, he, he had told me he got busted with like six pounds or eight pounds. And, and I eventually told my mom the story. I said, yeah, he said he got, he said he got busted with six pounds. My mom goes, six. 
more like 60. Do you know how much it was? It was like this when she starts holding her hands out. She's like, it was this much. And so there was a story because um, uh, my mom told me this story that she was pregnant with me and she was on probation. This is how messed up my family is, guys. Um, my mom was on probation for trying to burn down a police officer's house and then shooting the house. And instead of hitting the police officer, it hit a baby in the leg. The baby didn't die, but but it hit it hit the uh, bullet hit a baby in the leg um, that was sitting in a in a high chair. So anyway, just to be clear, my my mom wasn't the one who who did that. She's with the group that did that. And so, uh, but she was like 14 when it happened. So she was on she was on probation. Then she was 15. She was pregnant with me, and uh, and then. She said she just randomly looked through the peephole and saw all these guys about ready to bust in. So she plopped herself in front of the door because uh, there was a wall in front of it, allowed her to like put her legs up against the wall to hold uh, to hold the door. And she starts yelling for my dad that to 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 get rid of the drugs and stuff like that. Um, but it, it was it was too much for him to for him to get rid of before they uh, before they busted up in there. But uh, so my first drug bust was uh, when I was in my mother's womb. Um, but anyway, back then it made it, back then it made sense for my dad to have a handcuff key. You never know when you might have the uh, opportunity to escape. That would happen some sometimes, like if a cop you know cuffs you and and makes you sit on the curb while he's doing something. Well, if you got a handcuff key and you can you know get it out of your pocket because they don't you know if they're doing a pat down they're not they, they won't feel a little tiny key most of the time. And so if you can get that out of your pocket, you can un uncuff yourself. As soon as he turns around, you just roll up out of there or if you if you run away while you're handcuffed and you make it out of there then you're, you're going to want to be able to get those handcuffs off anyway <laughs> that's my family when i was growing up but uh <laughs> so yeah look at that was fun anyway i put this i put this vodka comment up there because a lot of people said you need to add vodka to your drink um so here's another one vodka uh unite the people of britain says you need alcohol vocab everyone vocab is not a drinker yeah i'm not I'm not. It, it takes me um, like one year to go through one little tiny thing if I even have it in the house. And then a lot of times friends – well, I don't know if I want to – basically if friends come over and they buy some and they leave it in the fridge, it stays until they return basically. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, every now and then I'll put something in a drink to spice it up a little, but it's so minor and it's just a real minor spice because um, if I have like this much tequila, I just fall asleep. Like, I'm, it's just total, you know, there's no, you know, anyways, people's uh, comments are interesting. Their reactions to us are interesting. Uh, K Kathy here says, uh, watching from Morgantown. This is, uh, <laughs> Hang hmm. on. uh I want to comment on, on, uh, Kathy here, but, but before that, Kevin Riggs said, is this Christian science? So I, I'm back here on the comments of when you were making your drink mm -hmm. and uh, he's saying, is this Christian science? So you're, you're mixing your drink together. Uh, Pretty much. But, uh, yeah, Kathy said she's watching from Morgantown. Here's what sucked. Um, I was in Morgantown for several days um, going to the hospital with my brother. And I wasn't really I wasn't reading the vast majority of comments to the videos I, I posted. But afterwards, I noticed there were multiple comments. Hey, I'm in Morgantown or hey, I'm right by Morgantown. Uh, so, you know, could have, you know, people could have come and hung out of the hung out of the hospital and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I'll be. Uh, I'll be up. I'll be back up in Morgantown uh, here. Well, de definitely before before I head to Vocab's on the ninth. I want to get up there. Um, yep, yep, yep. All right, Vocab. You, you, ne you never realized how many hillbilly fans you had. Um, I don't know. That I, I think they can sense the hillbilly. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, Morgan Morgantown isn't isn't a hillbilly town. It's it's a it's a college town, so it's kind of a mixture. You ha you have like hillbilly and non hillbilly all mixed together. Um, but I'm from Granville. I'm from Granville, West Virginia, which is a giant trailer park town, um, right outside of, right outside of Morgantown. Uh, and it's basically, it's got like a population of, I don't know what it is, like 400 or 500 or something. This is just a big park, a big trailer park, but, uh, that, is, that is pretty hillbilly. It's pretty hillbilly out there. Um, a little strength says, uh, David, are you going to kiss vocab at midnight? Voc vocab is a couple thousand miles away from me. So no. And if I was there, uh, still no, probably not, probably not. But I, I do have my dog here, but we will not be. Oh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> um, for, first of all, let, let's compare these. So Beth Bob says lime and cherry sounds good. So you have people who are who are looking at your drink going, oh, that looks good. Zachary Spears sums up my reaction perfectly. He says, lol, too much work. 
that that's how I am, right? Like, like I don't care if it's delicious and if water is much more plain, the water is so much easier that I would rather have the water. Or if I want something that's that's flavored, uh, you know, Kool Aid, uh, Gatorade, something that's really really simple. If I sit if I have to sit there and add, you know, twelve different ingredients to it, it has to be something more important than just making you know something sweet. I think it's hilarious that you still drink Kool-Aid. The only time I drink Kool-Aid still, and this is kind of cool. You know, I got a friend named G-Con, and he comes through to Phoenix every now and then, and he always wants to go to this soul food restaurant called Lolo's, right? It's on the south side. It's like five minutes from my house. We go down there. Whoa, you never taken me there, man. You're right. I actually probably should have taken you there. I Next bet they have. Here, I bet. See, all I go there for is, is banging mac and cheese, man. I bet they have they banging have mac bang, and cheese. Yeah, they have banging mac and cheese. I knew it, man. And they got. No one does it like those soul food places. Really good chicken, and and you know I'm not a big waffles guy, but their chicken and waffles is good, okay. And they got a lot of other good stuff, and it's good. the funniest thing is though they have a variety of flavors of Kool Aid on the menu, and they even got it like painted on the wall, like it's a major part of it. And they just bring out these giant things of Kool Aid, and it's actually really really good Kool Aid. So the only time I drink Kool Aid anymore is when I go to Lolo's. I'm like, you know what? Give me that purple Source Rex. <laughs> Which is like pur it's purple and uh, lemonade mix because that stuff's the bomb, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Normally, lots of places just call it by the color, like red, yeah, purple. purple. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. Jesse Armager says, uh, "Thanks for the live stream last night." Uh, in the super chat here says, "Thanks for the live stream last night." Vocab. Really enjoyed every minute. God bless y'all in 2020. I think I'm going to start making videos, brother David. Thanks for Islam education. Uh, Sully Deo, Deo Gloria. Um. Awesome stuff that people, uh, I I've seen a lot of those just since I posted my video earlier today. People saying uh, they want to they wanna do it. Um, because it's basically, guys, I'm going to be I'm going to be honest. Some of you are going to try it and not be very good at it. Mm -hmm. um, if you keep working at it, you can still be successful. But most people, most people aren't kind of aren't going to blow up. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's 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 it's. It's like, you know, we, we can all start weightlifting. Most of us are not going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Like it, it's a, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a unique combination of factors that can really uh, make someone, make someone really blow up. Um, every, everyone, everyone can be, you know, everyone who works hard can make an impact on YouTube. But, but so here's my thinking, right? When someone tells me, hey, David, I want to do YouTube, I'm thinking eh, that it might work, might not work. I, I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to see, you know, your, your videos. Um, but when 40 people, when 40 people tell me, David, I want to start making videos. Then I'm really happy because I'm thinking, hey, even if 38 or 39 of you, it's just, you know, it, it doesn't mm -hmm. work out. Uh one of you will probably be really, really, really good at it. just just because, you know, people have different personalities and people have different abilities and different knowledge and stuff like that. And uh, uh, so it's uh, it's really cool. I hope uh, I hope you're I hope you're you're one of the guys who really makes awesome, awesome content there, Jesse. And we also need some dope apologetic gals to bring that heat in 2020 as well. And you know what else I want to see? Did, did you say, did, did you say gals? Yeah, I said gals. And I also want to see some really like young, you know what I mean? Like smart kids, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like if you got it, start it. Remember that we were at that apologetics conference and there's like yeah. that 18, 19 year old kid who had already written yeah. an apologetics book. Yeah. You know, I'm like, hey, go, go do it, man. You know, you, you remember you remember that other that other kid we were talking to for a while? Um, young guy. I, I, uh, I think so. I, I told him he'd uh, he'd be good. He was he was kind of a small guy, but he was really he had a really oh yeah, yeah 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 he was real smart. That kid is yeah. super smart. He was super smart, yeah. and he had a, a really likable personality. And I was saying, I, I told him, I said, I said, dude, you 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 have a good personality for for YouTube, right? You you would do well um, because yeah. guys guys are gonna break it down for you for people who want to do YouTube, right? Again, I'm I'm pointing this out uh, that. If you work hard on YouTube, you can do cool stuff on YouTube. But some people are just going to do better than others. And that's going to come down to things like, you know, things like their personality and stuff like that, whether they're um, naturally funny or sarcastic or whatever, whatever, whatever gives them an additional edge. But uh, yeah, we're talking we're, we're talking to this uh, this young guy and he's just really, really 
really likable guy. And he's like really happy when he's talking about stuff and really, really smart I mean, put, putting, putting things together and into uh, nice arguments and stuff. And I told him, I said, dude, you, you have the right personality to, uh, to succeed on, on YouTube. So looking forward, looking forward to, uh, to uh, young guys like that, who, again, I, I said in my video today, I think uh, I think the younger generation is going to come along. I think they're going to do it better than us. And I look forward to the to the day years from now when I can just sit back and basically be a, a cheerleader for other people and just, you know, lend my support or lend anything I uh, I have to to other people. But basically, hey, I don't need to I don't need to keep giving my stuff because they're these guys are out here and they're, they're doing it better. So I look forward to that. Uh, shout out to Kevin Riggs in the uh, Super Chat. Didn't leave a comment, but. Left some money. That's cool. Um, I think people got confused. I said gals and really young, like kids, like teenagers, high schoolers. Okay. So I was not, not, saying, not saying young gals. No, I never said that. I'm not in Muhammad character. <laughs> I wasn't saying that I needed young gals. I was not saying that at all. We need more young gals. <laughs> I mean, personally, I have enough, but, you know. Yeah. No, I wasn't saying that. Um. Uh, all right, so uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 get to some more comments here because again, that that's basically what we're doing. But vocab, you did say, you did say that you had a a, a list of twenty things you want to do in twenty in twenty twenty. Um, I'm mainly interested in that because it's cool to have a record of it right here before we even get to twenty twenty, and that way. You know, a year from now, we can play this clip and we can see whether, you know, how much of how much of that uh, you got to. So you want to you want to go through those? Yeah. And what I was thinking is you could um, help me on air. I'm totally cool with this. So if you, you have free pass, even the live chat. You know what? You, this is a this is a ban free zone right now as far as for me for this. What I'm saying is um you guys can help me even tweak these. So I'll say it and then you can help me tweak it and I can alter the docket right now if you want. All right. So street apologist, 2020 goals, 20 goals for 2020. Number one, there are no particular order, by the way. Number one, hire a weekly part-time video editor. So right now I've got a, a guy that kind of does quarter time work for me and he edits stuff, but I'm barely able to make the payments and, um, he undercharges me. Mm -hmm. I want to have a legit weekly guy who's constantly editing content because I've noticed I can put out a ton of content, mm -hmm. but the magic happens in the editing room. And I can edit, but I'm not as good as you. I'm not as good as John, I've noticed. It's not my main strength. So I don't I, I don't mind editing my videos and saying, hey, look, I did this video. But I kind of realize people could do it better. So really – I got some dope editors, but I'd like to have them basically be churning out, you know, three videos every every week. So I got a part time editor, but they're all the time there, meaning it's every week I'm giving them the same amount. They're putting out the same amount of hours every single week to really kill it, because that way I'm not only having the uh, live streams, but also I have some videos of other stuff that they've edited together. Mm -hmm. And I've done that a little bit of that. If you saw in 2019, I, I started to do some of that, but. I want to do more and better as far as that. And that's number one. All right, uh, Vocab, I am going to periodically introduce you just so I don't get too terribly backed up in comments. So we'll uh, have a couple points by you and then go through a couple mm -hmm. comments. We'll keep going back and forth. Um, but uh, that is uh, that is a good goal. But notice that that's, pre that's a pretty big goal, right? When, when you said it was going to be yeah, 20 mm -hmm. smallish goals, I was thinking, you know, make a video about this or something like that. That's a... Uh, Finding a finding a good editor and then being able to to cover his costs and stuff that's a pretty big project but a, a pretty important one and I I have similar uh, but uh, um, Clorox bleach here said vocab and Epstein I think that was when you were you were talking about young girls uh, funny part is guys we finally gave in I think we're gonna do Muhammad meets Epstein <laughs> I think I think we're gonna do that as as one of these uh, five so, so just so everyone knows we're doing uh, our plan is to do seasons of 25 episodes we've already posted 17 we've we've recorded three more so we have basically 20 episodes already um so next time i go out to vocabs we're going to record five more and uh yep one of these is is most likely going to be uh epstein there and mm -hmm. lois lois barrett said uh thank you for your ministry please pray for caitlin my daughter uh happy new year complete healing for manny in jesus name um, amen. Vocab, we don't know Caitlin. You want to pray for Caitlin real quick? 
Yes. All right. Let me do this because I feel silly with a sand hat on. All right, just for a second. All right, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Caitlin today. And we thank you for even, you know, other people who are not speaking their requests out here. But, God, we pray for Caitlin. We pray for her situation with her family. God, you see all the ins and outs, and you know them 100%. You know them completely. You know exactly what she needs. You know exactly what the family needs. And um, we just agree with Lois that you would that you would uh, wrap up Caitlin in your arms, in your loving arms, protect her, guide her, show her your mercy, show her your grace. Let her truly understand who you are. And, and and the the awesome complete healing you believe that you bring and I pray that she believes the gospel with her whole heart she doesn't now and if she already does God let her believe it more in 2020 where she becomes a powerful warrior for the Lord and also we agree with her also for complete healing for many in Jesus name amen amen yeah um <laughs> it's funny I was like why is he what why is he covering that up, man? Just because he's wearing a hat. But then I was like, yeah, it would be weird praying with this on my head. That's uh, it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, for people who are sitting there watching and I'm sitting here praying and then I got this ridiculous, uh, ridiculous thing on my head. Uh, you know what sucked about Manny, man? Hmm, he seemed to be doing OK. He was doing OK. And we were going to bring him down here. Right. Uh, mm. I was going to I was going to get him a room somewhere down here where he could kind of be out of the environment. Because that guys, just so you know, that's the problem. With getting locked up and going to rehab and then going back to the same area where you were doing all the stuff before. Because guess what? All your friends come knocking again. You end up hanging out with the same people and doing the same things and getting into the same trouble over and over again. And so uh, one of the things that that tends to help um, addicts and so on is getting completely out of their environment and getting into a new environment. So we were going to have uh, Manny come close to us. And I was going to... Uh, pe- People don't know. I mean, Man- Manny is like a creative genius type. Um, so I was thinking, oh, man, I'll, I'll get him started, you know, working with me, you know, not not making videos, but the camera work. Uh, he could learn some editing, stuff like that. Um, he's really smart, really creative. And then uh, so he was probably like a couple weeks away from from us uh, bringing him where closer to where we live. And then, uh, yep, this happened. So, yep, bad, bad stuff happens. Guys, stay stay away from the drugs. Um, all right, vocab. What do you got next? Oh, say hey, McRae's in the live chat. John McRae. Yeah. Uh, AKA, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, he left me a he left me a super chat. That's weird. We all just keep handing money to John, and John never 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 uh, hooks up anyone. So uh, anyway, two two people here in the uh, in the super chat. Uh, Brad from Carolina says, "Happy New Year. God bless all." D Wood, I'm ready for the apologetics empire. My channel is still tiny. But I'm a full timer and ready to rumble on the front lines, thwarting Marxism and atheism for Christ. Uh, Vocab, I just had a, uh, I just had, um, uh, I just had Tony Costa on, and he was talking about cultural Marxism and stuff like that. And I was thinking, no one's going to be interested in this. And it was like, it was like over uh, almost a thousand people uh, who were, oh wow, you know, who were there for the live stream. And so I'm thinking, oh okay, well th- this is cool because guys, you, you get, you know, when, when we're when a lot of my channel is like blasting away at Muhammad, I think that's that's why people are showing up. And so I think, you know, some other topic that's not connected to that, that's, you know, people aren't going to be terribly interested. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking this this uh, might be an, an area uh, that people are interested in. So, yeah, Brad from Carolina. Um, uh, Brad, no need to reinvent the wheel. So this is my advice to because apparently there are lots of people in, in, in the chat who are interested in making videos and stuff like that. Um, so Brad, um, no need to reinvent the wheel. There are lots of things I learned about YouTube by trial and error. And, you know, I'd go five years making videos and realize I was doing something horribly wrong and then learn it and so on. But, uh, one thing to do, one thing to do is to start watching YouTube tutorials. There, there are entire channels out there who, uh, the entire channels out there that, that focus on giving like YouTube uh, tips and things like that. Um, find one of those channels, start, start watching those videos. I think there's a channel called uh, video influencers and it's cool. One of them is like, like a Christian speaker who started, who started making this stuff for, um, you know, so he could get his Christian message out on YouTube, and, but he learned a lot along the way. And now he makes like, like YouTube tutorials and stuff like that. So, uh, I think video influencers is, is one channel, uh, start watching those. It'll help you because basically other people who uh, other people have learned the hard way. There's no reason for you to learn the hard way. 
the things that other people have already learned. So a lot of the things you can uh, you can you can pick up from things like that. So that's Brad, and then there is John McRae. Thanks for the invite, losers. P.S. You both smell awful. I don't know how he knows that I I smell awful, but I I, I do. Um, so that's just weird. But, I don't because um, I have King Ginger's Christmas blend beard oil. Yeah, vocab smells like smells like Christmas. Um, I wanted I actually wanted to invite John, but it just doesn't work when I have two people on by Skype. Um, it would work on Zoom. It would work on Zoom, but I'd already set it up. Um, uh, set it up through. Uh, I can't. I can't. W- once I set it up on Ecamm, I can't do uh, Zoom. But um, well, John could call in Skype. I mean, oh yeah, we could. Yeah, John, if you want to come on, vocab vocab can cut out at some point. But no, 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 dude, you, we got to hear these. I, I, I I'm telling oh, you, the truth. Get... I, I want a record of these of these twenty things. Hang on, let me just get through these last. Uh, Last couple of things. By the way, uh, that's John McRae there, guys. Um, uh, looking forward to seeing what John does here in 2020. And he, he, hopefully he'll be going full-time here pretty soon. Uh, the Real Hope said uh, in the Super Chat uh, for the Kingdom of God. And then Rocks B. Rocks B with the Super Sticker. It's cool because all of these Super Stickers, I've never seen the same Super Sticker twice, I don't think. So I'm just I'm interested in how many Super Stickers there are. There are out there. This one's a fox jumping up with fireworks. I don't know if that's a special. I don't know if that's a special uh, Fourth of July thing because of the fireworks. But uh, uh, yep, shout out to Rocks. Be there. Uh, all right, vocab. <laughs> you, you've you've gotten through one so far. Yeah, yeah, we're doing great here. People like super stickers, man. I like some pot stickers. But uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, Thai food. Uh, so continue on here. Um, number two. Go live an average of 3.5 times per week. Now, this is the average. So on most weeks, three times a week, and then on other weeks, five times a week. But my guess is I it might be – it'll be different depending on what's going on. And so that's an average. Um, it won't happen every week. There's no, there's weeks like when we're getting together and doing stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm, I can't do it that much during those times. But I'm – about an average of three and a half times per week. So a lot more consistent, just uh, live, you know, on a regular basis. Now, do you mean, do you mean on your channel specifically? Because we, we, we did start going live um, when I come out there. Yeah. Um, I think, I, I think it's okay. Um, wherever it is, mm-hmm. as long as it's basically like part of being present on the internet in a mm-hmm. sense is wherever it is, I think is okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, but it this, is, it is kind of different. I, go, go ahead. Well, I just noticed that it people seem to like when I'm live frequently. Not every day, but I've noticed there's a good positive response. It's almost like it grows every day I do it. And so that's I just think I want to continue that on in the new year and be very regular live on a regular basis. Go ahead though, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say uh um yeah, so even 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 times when we're like getting together and recording stuff, it, it seems like we could we could uh uh, we wouldn't have much of a, much trouble getting going live, but uh, other times where you're doing a lot of stuff, like when we're meeting in February and then you get a conference right after, it seems like if you've got a lot of stuff to do in a week, then it might be a little, might be a little tricky. Mm-hmm. 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 So that's a, that's an average, you know, that's a, that is an average. Um, number three, re-upload a version of Islamicize Me on my YouTube channel during Ramadan. Oh yeah. Hang on, hang on. When, when is, uh, let me look up Ramadan 2020. You tell me and I'll put it actually. In I, the- matter of fact, I, I think I already know what it is. I'm not I'm not looking yet. I believe it's I believe it's April. I think our conference. I think our conference is it might be the last. I think it's the first day of Ramadan. I could, I could just set it uh, just premiere, you know, even while we're at the conference. Uh, no, it, it wasn't. the. It, it wasn't the first day, but we we're close because our, our conference is, I think, the 26th. But um, uh, yeah, Ramadan is April 23rd to May 23rd. So you got, you got, uh, you got four months, you got four months to get that ready, but that would be a, yeah, that'd be pretty, uh, pretty cool series. What should I, Ramadan. what should I call it this time? You I know, can't, I can't think because as soon as I just saw when Ramadan was, I started, I started thinking of like what I could, what I could do for Ramadan. Oh dude. What if we could come up with something? What if we could come up with something new for my channel for the entire month? And then it, apart from that, you post, you, you repost, a, you post a, a different version of Islamicize Me on, on your channel during Ramadan. It would so, be like, it would be like, like two epic series. 
all during Ramadan. All right, I'll be down with that. <clears throat> there are lots of possibilities. Uh, we've been planning, uh, Yumi and John, to do a prequel where we're, we're, we're actually atheists. For those of you who uh, recall in Islamicize Me, we start off as atheists, then we convert to Islam for 30 days. Um, so we start off as atheists and like Dawkins fans. So we want to do a prequel. We actually, we should probably do the prequel this year because we're just going to keep getting older and we're not going to look like younger <laughs> versions of ourselves. We're going to look like old versions of ourselves. It's not going to work. Um, but uh, they're, they're, they're going to have to Robert De Niro Irishman us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to have some major CGI. Uh, but the other, see, the, we need to do that because there are other, there, there are other things like people have been requesting uh, for a long time uh, to have an all female version of Islam size me, right? Like where it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like three, three women who convert to Islam, um, for 30 days and stuff. And then, you know, you can focus Whoa. on what I'm getting massive threats from a Hebrew Israelite as we talk on Watch your phone it. or in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. It's coming in as we talk. What? Like we will I, see gonna... done talking. We will see glad you see. It's coming in right now. Like I just joked to put why so serious. I'm gonna respond to this. But I'm gonna <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Put that back up. I want to see Look. the comment before you said before you said your little comment. Yeah, it says you're a marked target. Hang on, hang on. You're a marked target, and then you uh, started running your mouth. That's funny because just just earlier today, earlier today, I posted a video and I said how you're uh you're a dude, and I based that on that comment you got when I was there, and the dude said. It was after some shooting, and he said, uh, "He said we're not we're not violent. It, 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 as soon as we become violent, we're vocab's going to be dead." Wait, hang on. You fake uh, Jewish matter. It's a rap. All you do is cap, and you'll blank awful. crumbling censored. Check score. You'll blank burning, shaking, flooding, dying. Uh, and it says, "Get shot to f up." Get shot f up. You see it? What? No, where? On the bottom, right there. No, it's covered up with uh, with a line. No, oh I, yeah, I, yeah. I, there I see it. There I see it. Get it. Get shot. There's, huh? there's new messages coming in as we're. Do you, do you see these are coming in as we're, <laughs> as we're talking? Like he's the, whoever this is is. <laughs> but by the by by the way, vocab show vocab showing this stuff live and stuff like that. But that's just what it's like being around vocab, right? He's constantly getting messages <laughs> and calls from all Promise. kinds of. This is happening live. Promise. <laughs> in the world, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. get I'm gonna get banned. This video is gonna be banned for hate speech and they'll tell coming from a Hebrew Israelite. All I put was all I put was why so serious. That's all I put. <laughs> wow, this is insane. This is this is like bull it, it says bullets too. Jeez. Um is... Saved by Grace Love says I'm a gal who started a YouTube channel. Um yeah, uh, just so you know, saved by grace, love. Uh, there is a th that's that's a wide open door. There's a niche there, and uh, Nabil and I uh, years ago when he was doing his uh, masters at Biola, um, I just came along. I, I wasn't I wasn't attending. I wasn't enrolled, uh, but I I went out there just because he had to be out there for two weeks, and so I went out there, and we were hanging out with a young woman named Mary Jo Sharp, who was also doing the the masters program. And uh, we knew, we could tell, we could tell uh, that th there, there just aren't enough women doing apologetics or aren't enough, enough women uh, doing apologetics on YouTube. And so that actually gives you an edge. It makes you stand out more, right? Um, so you got a lot of guys, uh, you got a, got a lot of guys doing apologetics and so on. If you're... Um, if you're a woman, you stand out more, but uh, especially, I, I don't know what what you're you're interested in. If you end up doing something with Islam, it's kind of funny because since Islam regards you as inferior and stupid, uh, if you're in there holding your own in, in arguments about Islam, it, it, it's, you're kind of refuting Islam no matter what you do. You know what I mean? You could be giving an argument in one, you could be giving an argument on one level but at the same time, on a different level, you're refuting Muhammad by showing that you're outsmarting uh, the men that you're you're addressing. So, are you going to be are you going to be focused on on these these death threats, vocab? Well, this is crazy. It says <laughs> you and your family, so now you you'll know where it's going to come from. Yep. Jeez. Anyways. <laughs> It's a, it's a good way to start the new year vocab. Well, it, it is. The thing is, it is common. It is. It is common. It's just 
weird that it's happening because my th- my uh, Facebook messages are buzzing nonstop while we're talking. So it's just strange. Yeah. Okay. So um, okay. Re- when, when you go live, you have to silence your phone to silence all the death threats. Yeah, no. actually, that's true. <laughs> I know. That's actually true. <laughs> Nate's always like, Vocab, why is your phone going off? And that's why. Well, welcome. Welcome to our world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, Vocab, I think you've done two, right? You've gone. Gosh, we're going to have to be here like five in the morning. Um, all right, you got two. All right, go ahead. These, the, Everyone, these are, these are Vocab's goals for 2020. We want a record of them. We want a record of them. Um, oh, gosh, there were a bunch of super chats and stuff. Anyway. Um, we want a record of them so that this time next year we can get together again and then we'll, we'll see how many of them vocab uh, actually uh, succeeded in accomplishing. All right, go ahead. So yeah, re-upload Islamicize Me to my channel. I'm going to put all 32 episodes as premieres, mm-hmm. uh, the special edition. And I don't know if I'm going to call it Islamicize Me 1.5 or Exploring Islam or Converting to Islam. I don't know yet. I don't forget. Okay, uh, yeah, but, next. Uh, but side note, vocab, I would, I would title them all differently. Um, one of the things about Islamicize Me is for people who are looking for it, they can find it, but it's not something that people who aren't familiar with it are searching for. No one's searching for Islamicize Me. So you might want it on a slide, but other than that, title it something like the topics that we're we're dealing with in, in that episode, because people are searching for them. People are searching for, you know, drinking camel urine and stuff like that. So Okay. So. All right. We're, I'll, uh, I'll do it that way. And then um, we I got um, number, number four. Uh, by the end of 2020, so into 2021, I want to have grown 10,000 more subs. Wait, wait, wait. What, so what was that? What was that? I want to grow uh, about at least 10,000 more subs. So that would put me about 28,000 by the end of next year. Uh, right. I'm, I'm almost I'm almost at 18,000. Uh, I think that. You think I should go higher? You think I, think I should, should go? I think you should go higher. 15, 15. I would say 15 or 20. And the reason I say that is the more you have, the easier it gets, right? Your your most difficult thousand is your first thousand. Your second most difficult thousand is your next thousand. Other than that, I mean, it took me like what? I mean, like six or seven years to get to 100,000. I got the next 100,000 like in the next like 14 months, right? So basically the more you have, the more people who are actually sharing your stuff and the easier it gets. You haven't been doing that uh, seriously that long. I mean, you've had a YouTube channel for a long time, but as far as seriously YouTubing, you've only been doing that for a couple of years and you, you're almost up to 18,000. I mean, you're, you're, you're what? Uh, it's like uh 17, 17, eight, seven, right yeah, 17, eight. Uh, so yeah, I would set, I would set 15, um, 15. Okay. Let me, I'm going to actually, I'm adjusting it right now. Cause I'm looking at the document right now. So, uh, help me out. I'm stupid. Let's, that's thirty three thousand, I think. Eighteen thousand, let's just say, plus fifteen, thirty three thousand. Okay, so it'll be thirty three thousand by the end of twenty twenty one. That's cool. 20... That's cool. That's cool. And, and Christine S. Uh, as soon as you said it, said ten thousand is not ambitious enough, right? You don't, okay. You, you don't want to be 15. so ambitious that you're not going to reach it. But yeah, I agree with uh, with Christine that that you you I'm I'm pretty sure you could do you could do more than ten thousand. So I think fifteen thousand is cool because that ba- that would basically. Um, uh, almost double, almost double your channel. And if you pass it and you actually double your channel, well, that's, uh, that's cool too. All right, cool. Uh, yo, 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 vocab side note. Um, um, vocab mm-hmm. and I talked about that once we sort of wrap up the first season of Muhammad's boom, boom room, that we're going to take a couple months off from that series. And that, um, I posted a video on my channel of vocab discussing the black Hebrew Israelites and the video actually did well. Vocab normally doesn't record videos like that, uh, but I told him, hey, instead of doing uh, the Boom Boom Room, I'll come out there and just record a bunch of videos of you responding to anything you want to respond to, but we'll make them sort of uh, that style with him, you know, just standing up and responding to stuff and having graphics up on the screen and so on. And uh, that I think I think will 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 help a lot. The, the, those kinds of videos are just more shareable. Like then yeah. you do you do these live streams and people like the live streams and that's good. Uh, that, that, that's good, but they're not, they're just not as shareable as like a 10 minute video that's addressing some specific topic. So once you combine that, you're doing your live streams, but you also have those other kinds of videos. Yeah. I think, uh, I think you'll, I think you'll do better than, than even 15,000 this year. Well, I agree. And you know, uh, that video turned out really well. You know, of course I wrote it or whatever, but you know, you did the camera work and the editing and man, you just did a great job. It turned out really well. 
uh, that was that was awesome. And I, I love being able to put them on your channel. That really, really helps. A bunch of people in the live chat are saying they just now uh, – sub to me and i really appreciate that guys because i know what i do is not identical what david does and it's not for everybody but i do appreciate that everybody so shout out to y'all and and side note side note guys that's kind of a um as far as uh the video i posted earlier and saying that you know um the christian channels need to sort of uh be working together as much as they can and this is like and this includes uh you know guys who can't really work together because they're very different, right? So there are all kinds of people who want to do YouTube, Christian YouTubers who will not want to be on the same page with me on a lot of stuff because of, you know, how we, we just blast away at Muhammad and we, you know, we mock and things like that. Uh, even those guys, I'd be happy to help those guys. I want those people to be as successful as possible on YouTube. If they're doing good work, I want them to be successful, whether they agree with me on other issues or not. But basically, the situation you have is like this. <clears throat> if you think of, you know, all, all, if, if these are all my subscribers, right? Um, I have people who subscribe to me for all kinds of different reasons, right? Some people are interested in like jihad and Sharia. Other people mm -hmm. are interested in like responses to Muslim arguments. Other people are interested in... Um, uh, you know, defending Christian claims against people like, you know, uh, people were criticizing it. Some people watch my testimony video and they really liked it. So anyway, you have all kinds of different people. But basically, when there's another Christian like uh, Vocab or John, um, not all of the my subscribers are going to be interested in the kinds of material that they're making, because it might just be stuff that people aren't interested in. But some of some of my subscribers, uh, a portion of my subscribers are going to be interested in what Vocab is doing. A portion of my subscribers are going to be interested in what John is doing. A portion of my subscribers are interested in what Inspiring Philosophy is doing and so on. So basically, by uh, by by networking and, and working with each other, <coughs> then we find all of the subscribers who follow me who are also interested in whatever Vocab's doing so that they then subscribe to Vocab. And so uh, we keep doing we, we keep doing that until everyone's everyone's got the got the collection of channels that they that they're that they're interested in so that's the plan there that's the apologetics empire baby empire we build empires. That, was a, that was a dope video you put out today i think i'm going to take the part where you talk about me and adam and like make it its own separate video and like call it david wood endorses vocab and adam or something and make it a little like put some graphics with it <laughs> uh anyways oh, oh, but oh, uh quick, 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 hang on one, one second quick follow-up from lois that's you 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 prayed for caitlin but um, we have a little bit more info here. Uh, she said, thank you for praying that Caitlin will come back to Jesus. I agree. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. So uh, sounds like Caitlin is, is someone who who left Christianity. So, yeah, that is. Um, yep. That, that's awesome to hear. That's you know, it. it's mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's it's the Internet. Wait, but it's awesome it's, to hear what? that someone left Christianity. No, it's, <laughs> you know, what I was saying is it's awesome, you know, like to hear people's real life things like it's the yeah, Internet, it but it's mm -hmm. real life. Mm -hmm. And what's cool is we can actually get together like you and I get together. We're friends in real life. The rest of the crew the same. We go to these conferences now. And we're meeting people in real life like it's not yeah. merely just keyboards and chairs. And I like that. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's 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 cool. That That's why I mean, so, some people are freaked out that I'm like recording, you know, my brother in in a hospital room and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. How are you? How are you doing that? I'm like, I mean, my, my attitude is like, what? what what are you talking about? We all know each other, right? I mean, you don't. If you're complaining about it, then you don't. You don't know me. But these people on YouTube uh, who've been following me for years, they they know my whole life, right? Why why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I share that stuff with them? Oh my gosh, David, I didn't share these with you, but our New York New York Islamic friend <laughs> left me so many messages on my Google voicemail all about how how could i be friends with you because you're clearly a cold-hearted killer if you would make videos in such a light-hearted <laughs> manner about your brother he's like i didn't see one tear from his eye how could you be around that man and not be concerned for your safety and all this stuff oh my gosh man that dude for real sometimes i think you know uh, sometimes i'm like are these guys stupid why are they not like more scared of me they see i have i have no normal human uh emotional reactions and stuff like that but uh uh if, if those the, those of you who don't know we're, we're, we're talking about uh our uh, uh sadiq abdul malik who's a muslim who, who lives in yeah Europe. um but we need to make a video about sadiq because sadiq loves to call vocab and talk about what a failure jesus is and uh goal 21 make a video about sadiq sadiq abdul, abdul malik how do you say his name sadiq abdul malik all right 
We, Goal we, twenty one. Th- that's cool because you can do that next time I'm there. We'll just we'll just stop and 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 play his comments about Jesus being a total failure, and we'll make the video, record the video, and uh, you know about how. Muslims say, oh, we respect Jesus, and then you find out, no, actually, Islam portrays Jesus as the most epic failure in all of history. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, hang on. Uh, side note. Um, Yunus said, uh, Yunus Ahmed said, when is Muhammad versus Jesus epic rap battle happening? And Happy New Year, David. Um, uh, uh, yeah, we're kind of not sure. Um we, we have a we have a friend that we work with. He made the beats, but he was also sort of scripting it out. But he also had a lot of, uh, uh, it, you know, things to deal with in life and so on. So uh, I told him, hey, you know, deal with anything you got to deal with and then get back to us when whenever, you know, whenever, you know, you, you pass a lot of those things. But uh, I would I would like to have that. Either after the after the 20, the 25 episodes of Muhammad's Boom Boom Room. So between seasons or after the 50th episode, because we, whenever we're making videos, we get a ton of requests. What about Jesus versus Muhammad? And I reply, I say, no, 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 that one's going to be, that one's going to be a rap battle. So, um, yeah, guys, we, we've been for a while, been planning, uh, uh, a video. It's going to be like epic rap battles of history. It's going to be kind of a parody, um, but it's going to start off, um, it's the epic rap battle of history that epic rap battles of history didn't want to make because they don't want to get their heads chopped off. And so it's Jesus versus Muhammad. And so basically Jesus is going to be rapping about creating the universe and performing miracles and <laughs> saving everyone. And Muhammad's going to be rapping about how white he is and how many ladies he banged and you know how many, you know, all the, you know, the things he did with Aisha and stuff like that. And uh, all the was, caravans he raided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and by the end, of course, Muhammad's going to bow down and, and confess that Jesus is Lord. So uh, we, we, we want to make that. But, uh, you know, the situation was he, he was talking about some things he was going through. And I said, yeah, look, you know, you just, just get back to me when you can, because we want this has to be epic. Right. This, this is the, you know, a, a Jesus versus Muhammad epic rap battle. But what's funny is uh, uh, vocab is going to be playing Muhammad. And I think we're going to have some sidekicks in there. So it's going to be Jesus and he's going to have the Apostle Peter in there uh, sort of backing the him Apostle up. Apostle Paul. We're going to do Peter. Uh, uh, I was thinking because I, I wanted to do something else with the Apostle Paul. It, it's, oh, it's, okay. it's, 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 it's up to the writer. It's up to the writer. But I said, you know, I kind of lean towards Peter because we okay. want to do other stuff with Paul. With Paul, we want to do like uh, straight out of Tarsus and stuff like that. Uh, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's that's different. Than, I like that. Peter, that'd be a good choice. That's an interesting choice. I'm down with that. And so and so and so, and so it was it's going to be. And but but for those parts, for for Jesus and whether whether we end up doing uh, Peter or Paul as the sidekick, uh, we actually have Messianic Jews who are doing those parts. But to to portray Muhammad and his sidekick, Abu Bakr, uh, that's going to be me and vocab. So vocab is going to be Muhammad. I'm going to be uh, Abu Bakr. And, and so we'll be talking about how white we are. Um, and anyway. of course, Abu Bakr, if you pronounce it that right way, rhymes perfectly with cracker. It rhymes per- Abu Bakr rhymes perfectly with I'm a cracker. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so Muhammad can finish one of his, uh, you know, one of his parts with, uh, and if you think I'm a cracker, just check out my man Abu Bakr. And uh, then Abu Bakr jumps in. So, yeah. Abu Bakr, read a chapter a day. I even like to give my daughter away. So, <laughs> so this, anyway, guys, this is the stuff that we we work with. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. So, um, also number five, I want to this year have a goal where I include in my live streams a commentary on every single Boom Boom Room we've ever done. Whoa! So I, I want to do uh, a comment. I want to do a, a commentary video for every single Boom Boom Room. I've done about four of them. But I want to continue that on in the in the new year to where I've done the commentaries on all of them. What I do is I do these behind the scenes things and I explain. You've been doing them pretty regularly recently, though. Yeah, but I've only done about four, or three or four, I think. And I and there's we've done like twenty or something. You know, a lot of people were saying that the Christmas one was like the season finale, and it, I kind of agree. It seems like that should be st- and shouldn't that be yeah. season finale? And then we come back with Gosh. season two of the. You know, deconversion. Oh, gosh, you're making a good point there, man. I hadn't even thought about that. That did seem like a. It's like a cliffhanger, you know. Mm. I don't know if there's I don't. Well, what's the difference of how 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 are we? What's the difference of how we mm. what, what would what we need to do different? Like, what do we need really need to do different? We can just describe it as season one finale or can't we? 
we can do whatever we want. We're the guys who make the series, so we can do whatever like, we want. It's like a cliffhanger. You know, he's saved. <clears throat> or so it seems. I agree. So all of the... So basically following that route, all of the future episodes that we're working on now, and that kind of destroys my reason for coming out there because we could have done that later. But... Oh, no, no, because the next one, season two's opening, has to be him deconverting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the idea is if we're doing season two, we kind of don't need to do that immediately, right? We could do that some, you know, we could we could take a couple months off before we do season season two. Oh, well. But, uh, but however, if we're doing shorter seasons, we don't need as, as much time in between. We could have like a month in between we should, seasons of 17 episodes. That is a good should, point. I hadn't thought about that. We should still do them, and then we maybe we could do one of those videos where I'm talking the bookshelf too. I don't know, but I, I'm down for whatever. You know, I just it's just mm -hmm. a suggestion. I'm down for whatever. But yeah, comment on every boom boom room uh, number um, six. Speak at least four conferences this year. I don't want to be traveling all the time to doing that, but How once many? four. I'm okay. putting. I just put four. You I got, think I've you, already got two booked. Yeah, you've got. You definitely got one in 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 February, <laughs> and then. It looks like I'm going to Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, two weeks two weeks after Easter, so just really just two more. Like I don't want to do that a lot, so I'm just putting four, which is kind of like one a quarter, which is about what I did last year. But I want to continue that. They could be very small, like it, it's not the size. It's just the idea of like there's a few times where I kind of getting out there doing that as well, mm -hmm. you know. So just four really. Um, number seven, um, I want to do um, a new thing. Where um, – this is hard to explain. I, I do once a month a live apologetics presentation that's 30 minutes long. And so uh, I've already got a, a, a venue procured for it, and I'll do one topic per month. Each presentation is only 30 minutes, but it will be done live. Basically, I'll turn on the channel do the presentation, and then turn off the channel. So I'll, I'll be standing right there. I won't be able to interact, but I'll be doing this 30-minute concise presentation on a different apologetic issues once a month. So it's like a live speaking engagement, nice, clean, clear, and each one will be defending something. So I've already got them planned out. So number one is defending the sanctity of life because in January, Sanctity of Life Sunday. So that's the first one. Then in February, it's Black History Month. So I want to do one called defending the oppressed it's going to talk about um the proper understanding of of what of what that means and, and ask questions about like is the bible racist or elitist is the bible pro-slavery stuff like that so i want to do once a month a live at a venue apologetics talk basically and and put them on the channel so i'm gonna to try to do that once a now, month. now what's the purpose of doing if you're let's say you're doing 30 minutes and you're not going to um you're not going to be interacting during that time why not just record a, a 30 minute video? And then I agree, it? but I like the live feel. I could it interact. Does have, it does have a different feel. That's one thing. And also um, I could interact with people maybe a little bit before and a little bit after, but I might have someone manning, man, like manning it right then. Mm -hmm. I just, and also if I, if I record it, it's one more thing I've got to take mm -hmm. back upload edit and all that and i don't i just don't want to do that too so that's kind of what i'm thinking i just want to try it and see if it works I, what i just want to try it and see if it works maybe it's i'll not... help you edit man i'll help you edit when i come you're out there busy with your stuff already you know but we'll we'll see um number eight i don't think this was going to happen but i need to put this on there because i need to do it because i was supposed to have done it last year release my second book by october 2020 <laughs> the now, book now, I have a ton of content. It's just not organized. Now, is that is that your your new book on the Black Hebrew Israelites? Yeah, that's mainly what it talks about. But it talks about some other broader urban apologetic issues as well. For example, the opening chapter or the second chapter is me and Adam Coleman write, and we write on the problem of identity and how that's a sort of a presuppositional issue and problem when it comes to a lot of urban apologetic issues. So, it's, so, you, so you and Adam are, are yeah. collabing on this. On on a chapter or mm -hmm. two. That's pretty cool because because he's uh, he's got a couple chapters in a, in a book that's coming out from from Zondervan. So it's uh, it's just cool because guys, I mentioned Adam Coleman in my my video earlier that people are talking about how sharp he is. So it's cool that uh, 
well, it's, it's basically you run into people who are who are sharp and yet people still don't know about them. And so you find out, uh, oh, he's going to be working on a chapter in this book. He's going to be doing chapters in this book. And then you realize, oh, people are going to find out. People are going to find out. So it's cool times. Yeah. So there's that. And then um, uh, number nine. This year, I want to organize and throw the first ever virtual apologetics conference strictly online but i have guys and gals that i fancy as far as the content they put out mm -hmm. like you have people that you have your eye on mm -hmm. the problem is they're mainly dealing in the areas of urban apologetics and so they have very small platforms but they're doing great content good work I look to them, and then I see why does this person only have 300 subs on their YouTube channel? Yeah. And I feel like one way to change that is this virtual urban apologetics conference. Bring them together. And the date's already selected. March 2021. It's called Cyber City. Cyber City Virtual Apologetics Conference. And what we're going to do is Friday, the schedule starts, and it starts at like 4 o'clock. The person goes – they have a 30-minute presentation, 15-minute Q&A, and it's live. Their topic's already picked out, and we're going to release the schedule. Then everybody has 15 minutes to go to the next YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So each YouTube channel is basically like a classroom. And so you're going from channel to channel, which is like you're going from room to room at a conference, and you have 15 minutes to get to each one. And it's literally going to be five or six in one day on Friday night. Mm -hmm. So it's like – um. It's like a conference, you know, because they're back to back and all the topics code or whatever that word is. Right. Then Saturday, same thing. And so it's a two day thing. And there's going to be a pre-conference on, on Thursday night. I'm going to do live um, from a local church here or with a bunch of church people where we're, we're going to be live to kind of kick it off with a party in the flesh, you know, live people together atmosphere. And then it's going to be boom, 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 boom. And then at the end of each conference night, we're going to do a panel where everyone who presented that day is going to come on to my channel in a Zoom room, and we're going to have everybody there kind of doing a wrap-up session for the two nights. So it's going to be dope, and I've got ideas for it. We've already created a Facebook invite page for it, but it's called Cyber City, and, and tonight on my channel, I premiered a, like, a 40-second commercial mm -hmm. for it so you can get the idea. But that's already happening. That, that sounds uh... – it sounds really nerdy. Um, I like where you're going. I like that you're, you know, you're going to be work, working a lot of channels. But every time I hear a bunch of technical stuff, I just think, yeah, this sounds really, really nerdy. Uh, ah, nah, nah. see, <laughs> these are the these are the apologists. If I had the budget, I would fly <laughs> out to my conference, uh -huh. but I can't, and none of us have money like that. So we're going to do a virtual conference, right? That's the idea. Eventually, so that, you will. You're going to keep blowing up, and then you're going to be you're going to be like like making it rain for people. You know what I mean? Um, Wait, quick, quick comment here. Um, well, first, shout out to um, Dave Bowman in the super chat. Um, oh, that's super sticker. He left a sticker. Uh, hang on. That is the pair. I, I've seen the pair. I've seen the pair doing a couple different things mm -hmm. in super chats. Uh, then we have Moses Livingston. This is happy, uh, happy New Year, twenty twenty to all. Thanks, Doctor David Wood, for your vision about the apologetics empire. God bless your efforts. Uh, a lot of people have been saying, you know, that that they they really like the the message about the apologetics empire. That that that's always uh, that's cool to me. So, so, sometimes I make a video and I think, hey, hey, this video is awesome. Other times I think, hey, you know, I just want to say what I'm what I'm thinking right now, and mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know how people are. I don't know how what people are going to think about it. And so it's it's cool that people. Uh, it's cool that people are inspired by the empire, but we are building an empire. I You've been talking empire. about this for like two and a half, three years now, I think. Um, something like that. Well, Maybe yeah, yes. As far as far as uh, I mean, the, the the main part there is is um, see, I I know, I know people, I know, basically, tech guys who have very good jobs working at television stations that you all have if you have cable, right? That's what they do. They do the broadcast at television stations. And they would quit and drop and drop everything if they could come come and come and work with us on stuff, right? Uh, because they'd rather be doing that. They'd rather be doing something meaningful than something that is earning them a paycheck. Um, now to be to be clear, People have to do these things. And so if you have a job that you, you're not terribly interested in, but you know, you're, you're earning a paycheck, keep in mind, people have to do those jobs and stuff. 
Um, but given the choice, given the choice, they would rather come and do something with us. So basically, I've known for several years that I know at least three people right now who are awesome tech guys who do awesome work, who would drop everything to come and, you know, do YouTube and live streams and all that stuff with us. We can't pay those guys, right? So they so they keep working their awesome jobs. They have they have really good jobs. Um, but there's that situation and, you know, it's just that lots of times YouTubers were kind of like Rambos, right? We're kind of like we're, we're in other words, we're separate. Like we're 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 one guy taking on everyone around us and stuff. And it, it's occurred to me that you know you, we shouldn't all be Rambos. We should we should be working together. And so the idea that I've had for several years now, and just uh, trying to take things up a notch right now, is. Um, I think that a bunch of guys working together with a couple of tech guys uh, would just be able to do a lot more together than than any one of the guys separately. And so, yeah, that, that's what I've been thinking about for several years and what I kind of want to start focusing on for uh, for a while. So, yep, we're going to we're going to see where that goes. Uh, one more one comment here um, from the Super Chat. Uh, DJM said. I almost never meet my New Year's resolutions. My four goals. One, learn Arabic. Two, read Life of Muhammad by Ibn Asak. Three, get a girlfriend, or at least date more. Four, join the Act 17 Boom Squad subscription. Happy New Year, David and Vocab. Now, DJM. When I saw your list of four, and the first one I saw was learn Arabic, the first thought that entered my mind was cancel the other three. If you yeah. want a goal for 2020, and one of them is learn Arabic, cancel everything else. Right? Focus on that. Get a uh, get the you know um, get the Pimsleur Arabic or the uh, uh, Rosetta Stone Arabic. Uh, take some classes and stuff like that. Focus just on that. Anything else is 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 going to be too much. But your other goals were progressively, uh, they're, they're not as difficult as learning Arabic. So read the life of Muhammad. That's a, that's a, that's a rough book, especially when you get to long sections of just going through some very boring material. There's some very interesting material, but there's a lot of boring material in the life of Muhammad. Uh, if you want to do that, it's, it's actually pretty easy when you have 365 days and that's a goal for a year. So for the life of Muhammad, you bet you basically have to read two pages a day. Right. So set yourself a goal and you can start that tomorrow. Read two pages a day. That's not a lot. You could do that in a few minutes. But if you keep up something small, for <laughs> this an is like, year, like, you know, people go through the Bible in the year. This yeah. is like the Muhammad devotional plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But th th that's how it works. That's why that's why it's hard to just sit down and read through the Bible. But if you actually get on a schedule of reading through the Bible in a year, you can do it. And the life of Muhammad is much shorter than the Bible. So you'd have to basically read two pages a day of the life of Muhammad. You can if you keep that up consistently, uh, you make it through. Um, get a girlfriend. Yeah, that's complete. That's in a completely different realm from like learning Arabic. So you could do that simultaneously and join the Act 17 Boom Squad. You can do that or not do that. I'm totally happy with you. There's plenty of people joining the Boom Squad. So if you want to scratch that one off, but yeah, you could do that. So, yep, you you can you can keep all four of those those goals. Those those are that's a reasonable set of goals. But number one is going to keep is going to take the most energy. If you want to do number two there. I would start that off. If you were to do number two. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because uh, <laughs> I have a video about Germany banning all these videos, right? Uh, my videos and uh, videos of the apostate prophet, we get these notifications from YouTube that say our videos have been blocked in Germany, uh -huh. right? Now, Pakistan is the main is the main one I hear from as far as blocking my videos. But interestingly, Germany is number two. So when I, when I make that video, I'm going to have all these all these references to Germany being number two. <laughs> uh, I've I've totally transgressive humor. I, I've I've been I've been tempted, Vocab. You're not going to believe this, but I've been tempted lots of times to point out that Christianity is the biggest religion in the world, and Islam, oh, no. Islam is the second biggest, and so. Islam yeah, is number I, Islam is number two. Uh, I've been tempted to yeah. put that into a video. I've never managed to do it, but yeah, gotta think, it. gotta think about that. All right, yeah, go ahead, okay. Yeah. Okay, um, number um ten mm -hmm. in relationship to that, 
cyber city idea to help other urban apologists get bigger platforms, I realize I need a way to hour where I regularly feature them. So I, I have this idea of a round table, although it's more of a square table because I'm going to invite three guests each time. So it'll be in the shape of a square on the screen. I'll invite three guests each time to discuss a different uh, relevant issue and we'll give our views and perspective and apologetic viewpoints, kind of be like hot takes. But I'll invite these different people and I'll try to have at least one female apologist every time myself and then two other folks. And if it goes well, we might even invite every now and then a mainstream apologist into it. And I'm going to call them cyber ciphers. And they're going to be mid-month. So every mid-month, cyber cipher. And again, the point is to help bring up the other people. Like the way you have me on right now, mm -hmm. it's fun. It's cool. We're friends. But also I'm looking in the live chat, and there's people who are saying, I just subbed a vocab alone. It's very helpful. I know when I go and look at my analytics, I'm going to have more subs today than I did yesterday because of your help. I know that. I don't have the same reach as you, obviously, but I do have reach, to be frank, more than the other urban apologists. So I want to do the same thing you do for me on a smaller scale for them. And so a mid-month cyber cipher is a way to constantly be putting new people in their face. Like I just saw a guy in the live chat, Air Church. He said, who else should I sub to? Which is – that's awesome. I want to constantly be showing people those other people. you know. So uh, that's that's another goal because that's going to take a little bit of work because i got to organize it and stuff and think of the topic. But that's going to happen. Vocab, by the way, that's, uh, that's part of the reason you have to blow up. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like part of, part of the goal of, of blowing up is that the more you blow up, the more you can help other people blow up. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, no. uh, uh, it, it's funny uh, – I forget what year it is. We could actually go back on, on the blog, Answering Muslims, but Nabil and I started the blog, Answering Muslims, years ago. I don't remember when it was, 2000, I'm guessing 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. But we started the blog. So this is before, this is before we're, you know, focusing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But we started that. When we started, when we're actually sitting there together, making this blog, uh, I said, you know what I want? You know what my ultimate goal is and i don't i don't want anything beyond this i want a thousand readers a day hmm. said if i get a thousand i mean think if uh, a thousand readers a day that's like you're you're discipling a thousand people a day i said if you spend your life discipling a thousand people you don't need to do anything else in life that's it that's all you need and so that was it back then but I mean, gosh, I get way more than a thousand an hour right now on, on YouTube. And so uh, things kind of change. But, you know, so anyway, the point of that was I didn't have massive ambitions back there. Uh, but sort of the, you know, the more the more people you get watching your stuff and, and paying attention to your stuff, one of the cool things you you can do is you get to you get to support and promote other people. And that is, uh, that's, that's really fun. That's really fun to do. And so vocab, yo, you want to help all these other guys You want to help all these other channels. You're looking at these channels. You're saying 300 subscribers. Why does this person have 300 subscribers? You got to blow up, dude. You got to blow up. You got to blow up to a million and then you can blow up any channels you want. Hey, um, what? I just saw this today, but it looks like it happened earlier today. But someone in the live chat, can you do this? Because right now I'm on live with David Wood. Uh, look up Lakewood, New Jersey. Police tackle a suspect armed with a knife and three guns outside of a kosher store. Looks like this just happened earlier today. I didn't know about it until just now. But man, it looks if, like this, if this is another, gosh, if this is another anti-Semitic attack, man. Well, I don't know what happened or what's going on, but it, I just saw a video on Twitter. So I'd like if someone could research and send me some information on that, I'd appreciate it. But, um, okay, so next thing is um, – some of these are very small goals. You notice some are big. This is just me dealing with scheduling. I want to do my monthly hangouts from now on at the beginning of the month. And there's a few reasons for that. One is I want to do my book clubs at the end of the month, which is another goal. That's goal number 12 because I do a monthly book club. We just did our one on John Frame. We talked about epistemology. So those shows tend to get more deep. And then um, in the beginning, I want to have – the Hangouts. The Hangouts are the exclusive supporter Hangouts for Patreon people. And then mid-month, the Cyber Cypher. So the idea is every month there's something specifically targeted to sort of the core of the audience, hopefully, that's very social. And so I want to have them spread out every month so there's a rhythm, you know, middle, beginning, 
And and to be kind of be frank with you, one other reason why I want to do the hangouts, which are supporters, and the end of the beginning of the month is because that's when Patreon comes out. And I notice people always leave around that time. And so I want to kind of get together, remind them why we do this, and hopefully maybe they'll stick around more. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, well, well, I mean, keep in mind it, it doesn't have to be people deliberately leaving. If you have I, like, if you if, if you if you have if you have a hundred if you have a hundred people supporting on Patreon. Guess what? Some of those people, their credit card is going to expire or something like that 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 month and so on and so. Um, but yeah, don't be. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about that. However, uh, you should be thinking um, if you're trying to do it at the beginning of the month, and you know I'm coming out like the ninth, tenth, and eleventh. That is a good time for us to do a live hangout. Yeah, so that can that can. Um change as far as the sport or hangouts but so i'm just saying be flexible like, is all i'm saying right yes flexible. everything is flexible everything okay. is flexible you know i'm uh, improv all that a couple of comments here um i mean a couple of super chats here lisa look um with a super sticker uh gosh there was one that just it just went away because i have the list and then it, it it expires after a minute i i think I, I i have all of them stored here but there's a bunch so i can find it uh cheryl r said join the boom squad if the join link isn't working in your app join on the act 17 channel in your browser so i've been wondering about this i don't know how this works if the join link isn't working in your app so for me when i watch someone's video if they have channel memberships i see a join button and mm -hmm. people have complained to me saying i don't see a join button and i don't mm -hmm. know what to do in those situations so cheryl r is saying if the join link isn't working in your app join on the act 17 channel in your browser um you might want to check that out i don't know if that will work because if you're not seeing it on the video i don't know why you'd see it on the channel um uh, but maybe maybe that is maybe that is the uh uh the solution and then i wanted to address this comment by tom j real quick um tom j said uh hey x17 apologetics is there any way for me to email you i am in need of counsel and prayer with regard with regards to god's calling for me and if he wants me to go into apologetics god bless Tom Jay, I am not a great person to consult. I'm pretty, uh, pretty brutal and cold blooded. Um, but if you want to email me, uh, you can contact me at wood w o o d underscore apologetics at hotmail dot com. Wood underscore apologetics at hotmail dot com. All right, go ahead, Bokeh. All right. Um, speaking of that, um, um, another goal I have is. Between all the various places to support the ministry, I'd like to be at about 3000 a month by the end of the year. So that's Patreon, PayPal, Subscribestar, and channel memberships, which I just got, but I haven't unleashed yet. So that'd be – that's only about 1000 more from where I'm already at. Maybe I should make it a little bit more. But I know that if I do that, I'll be able to really have the editor more. But I wonder if I should make it more. But that's about how much it is right now. It's a, it's like you close want, to two. You want to have three thousand dollars coming in from all sources of ministry revenue yeah. by the end of the year. Yeah, I think I should make it more because it's almost at two right now. I don't know. Yeah, you should make it more. What do you think I should make it? Because really, this is going to go five. All right, this is going to go towards the main thing I'm going to do besides upgrading and travel costs is really. Getting those editors to be literally slaving away like Santa's little elves editing. That, that's the I, point. I, I that, 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 that's the point. I, I mean, I know you, Vocab. I know you're not storing up this money and buying a, a ton of garbage. I know you use your money. You use your money to, uh, if you get extra money, you use it to take trips and go confront the Hebrew Israelites. You use it to, uh, you'll use it to pay people to get more mm -hmm. stuff done. And, and so, all of your goals as far as money are noble and therefore i would so in other words if someone just says hey i want a bunch of money so i can have a bunch of money i'd say you're a scumbag i, I don't care what you get and i hope you don't get anything right if, well i might if, buy a few comics along the way though i know you will but that, that that's fine that's fine <laughs> um but when 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 i i kind of know how people use their money and they use it to to get cool stuff done then you know aim big man aim big uh, All right, I'll put it five, and here's the uh, the next one. One, which... one second, one second, one second. Uh, Benjamin Handelman, I think he asked later. I think he asked later if we saw his comment. So let me make sure I get to this. Uh, Benjamin Handelman said, "I I turned 37 today, and I'm thankful for everything both of you do." It looks like he's uh, he's got a military uniform in his little uh, picture there. I turned 37 today, and I'm thankful for everything both of you do, even though I'm actually a target 
for some of your apologetics. I don't know, maybe he's an atheist or something. I he's a Roman it. Catholic. He's Roman Catholic. Oh, okay. I know. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. But okay. he's a Roman, he's a Roman yeah. Catholic. You're not a target of any of my apologetics. I don't deal with Roman. He's been a uh, target of a few of mine. <laughs> I know because you're yeah because you go you, you're oh everyone who's not reformed I have to attack viciously. Um, but he said I be uh, I appreciate being able to uh, I appreciate being able to test my faith through your work. And by the way, that that's a really good that's a good attitude, right? That um, someone can say, "Hey, I'm Catholic." Uh, vocab. Sometimes in his videos, uh, d deals with stuff that's critical of, of Catholicism, and I'm fine with that, and I appreciate that because I, I still get to test my faith. And just so you know, whatever your position is, that's a cool attitude to have. If you're a Muslim and you're watching here, and you think, ah, you know, Dave and Evoke had they blast away at Islam in the boom boom room, but you know what? I'm actually okay with it because that that helps me wrestle with some issues and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, that's good good attitude for everyone to have, namely that people who disagree with you or um, try to show that you're wrong, you don't have to regard them as, as horrible enemies. You can regard them as, hey, you know, uh, we can actually sit down and go through this. And worst case scenario, these guys give me something to think about. So uh, anyway, good attitude. All right, go ahead, Vokan. It is indeed. All right. Okay, this one is actually one of the hardest ones. Return to blogging. I want to blog once a month. Oh, crap. You want to take a step back? No, no. Blog once a month. So part of what I do is an article. And what I'm thinking is, no, what I'm thinking is this could help me with the book. So that's I, true. That's true. If you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're if you're getting double duty, if you're doing parts of a yes. book in the blog, so that, that makes sense. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of like, that's only 12. And so I'm thinking like if I could, because a lot of you don't know before I was doing YouTube, I was doing mainly as far as media is concerned, radio. And I was blogging for like two or three years every single day. I literally blogged once a day. I used to blog as well. Yeah, yeah I remember. That's how I first found out about you because yeah. you said on your blog you're coming to Phoenix. I knew about your blog before I knew about your YouTube. Back yeah, but, yeah, but back, back then that was that was our main – that me and Nabil, that was our main stuff. And yeah. matter of fact, we, we had – just because I, I found stuff eventually when I'm looking for stuff and I, I'm, I'm Google searching and then I find an article, you know, something that a blog post that we did years ago. And I was looking back and I was like, some of these blog posts that we made are really, really good. I need to make videos out of these old blog posts that we that we uh, that we have. Uh, oh, wait, side note right now. I just found a comment by uh, Anthony Rogers. So th this goes back to when you were. Uh, showing those those threats, uh, but Anthony said, "Ha, vocab is texting himself." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're texting yourself. That's, yeah. that, that's funny. Someone who's uh it's funny. I get that when I have never done. I've never done anything like that. But whenever I post, like, uh, I'll uh, I had a I had a, a couple part series on on leaving Islam, where I would just share some some comments from people who left Islam after watching my videos. And after every one of those, I get flooded with message. Ah, you made up all of those accounts yourself. So actually, there are people who think, no, no real Muslim leaves Islam. And so if you're if you're posting uh, videos with 10 Muslims in each video leaving Islam, you must have made all these accounts yourself. And then I post other videos of people giving me death threats and stuff. And I say, oh, no, you're making those accounts yourself. So apparently all I ever do is just make up fake accounts uh, of myself, either threatening myself with death or claiming to be a Muslim who's left Islam. And, uh, yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Like that's a great way to spend our time. You know, it sure is. That's what I do all day. I, I, make I don't, accounts. I do not share. I probably share 5% of all the threats and harassment I get. I, I mean, I don't know the exact number. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 doing, I, you know. I, I used to share them and I used to post videos, I, even the positive, even the positive ones of, of Muslims leaving Islam. I used to, try and, 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 and post those comments, but it, it, it's just, I, I don't even post those anymore. So I just kind of, I just kind of usually brush past them. I, I should start them again because it is, is it, a, it is encouraging to people, but you know what vocab, when these guys, whether it's uh Hebrew Israelites or uh, Muslims, when, when they start saying, ah, you're making up fake accounts and doing stuff like that, I start thinking, no, that's what you do. And that's why you think I'm doing uh, it. Yeah, right? it's like all projection. You, got, you guys make fake accounts and, and say all these things. And that's why you think we do it too. But I, I, I don't do that. 
Yeah, what's that called? Puppet? Uh, sock puppet accounts or something like that? Is that, what, is that? Isn't that what those are called? I don't know. You know? Anyways. All right. Um, I need – this is number 15. I need to fix my websites. I have a number of URLs, and they're severely outdated and have some issues. Now, this requires money because I'm not going to be the one fixing them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I need to fix vocabmalone.com and streetapologist.com. Mm-hmm. And if I got around to it, even the shieldsquad.com. But I've got two or three that I need to – not that I'm going to regularly – but I need to have them ready in case I do get kicked off other social media where they're kind of already set up for me to begin doing stuff on them. Mm-hmm. And so I'm thinking about maybe asking our buddy Kurt if I get the, the money ready. You know, like I think you're going to ask Kurt. I, that he'd be the guy. I'd say, hey, man, can, can you do this now? And it's not yeah. going to be cheap. It's not going to be cheap, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, we uh, – especially considering the situation on YouTube that, you know, YouTube could be cracking down at any minute. We've been told by – people who understand how to protect yourself that you do need to get your websites rolling and you do need Mm -hmm. to make your uh, everyone who watches you on YouTube aware of where to find you Mm -hmm. if all of a sudden your channel disappears, right? Because I've had that situation multiple times where um, YouTube bans me and then I can't post anything for a week or, or, you know, something like that. And people are just wondering, you know, they think I've, I've stopped posting or something like that. And so, uh, yeah, it's good to have it's good to have a way to contact you. So it is important to actually have websites, even though they're Stone Age. Uh, quick, quick couple of comments here. Uh, David Anderson said, David's still doing a boom, boom, room with AP as Freud. Yes, we've already recorded that. So when I said we've released 17 and we have three more that we've recorded, but not posted. Uh, yeah, the three that we've recorded, but not but not posted. Uh Muhammad meets Michael Jackson, Muhammad meets R. Kelly, and Muhammad meets Sigmund Freud. We start to record vocabs parts for Sigmund Freud. Uh, but then we, yeah, then we're, we're getting together vocabs here, um, 9th, 10th, and 11th, and 12th, and recording the, the final five episodes. Although vocab has made a great case for having seasons of 17 episodes. Um, but yeah, we'll have to figure that out. A couple of... Super Chats here. Mr. Phil Fox says, Blessings and prayers for this ministry. I have learned and grown through this ministry and Vocab's ministry. So Vocab, someone's actually learning something from your ministry. Oh, Mr. Phil Fox is amazing. He gave me uh, dope books um, off my Amazon uh, ministry resource wish list for Christmas. I need to make one of those. And he is encountering... Hebrew Israelites on their reservations because you know mm. Native Americans are on oh, the twelve yeah, tribes. One of the tribes, yeah. yeah and he's a Native American brother. He's a really awesome brother. And he, I ca- I was shocked when he was telling me how the Hebrew Israelites are are permeating the reservations. So he's a really unique guy with a very interesting perspective. The other person, you know, I had a lot of people who really were cool to me on Christmas, but Liza J went all out for real. So shout out to her too. She's mm-hmm. she's in the live chat. So there's just some awesome people in the in the live chat tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few more, and I'm getting a lot of uh, super chats and super stickers here. Uh, Michelle Marie says, um, I want to be the first female apologist to Islamic women online with one million viewers. Do you have any suggestions? So I don't know what you mean there. I don't know if you mean one million views, like on uh, on your on your videos, or if you mean one million viewers, as in one million subscribers that's not the same thing one million viewers means one million separate viewers not one million mm-hmm. subscribers some like like uh, i have a certain number of subscribers i have way more uh viewers um as far as suggestions um make good videos um i, I mentioned earlier uh watch tutorials that that will help you with uh um titling your videos making thumbnails uh descriptions keywords, things like that. Uh, people, if you're talking about Islamic women, um, do not hesitate to steal material from people like me, right? Any video that is in uh, in the area that you'd like to address, do not hesitate to copy anything uh, from my videos. I'm not stingy with my content. I think it's awesome when people use an argument that I've given somewhere. Um, and by the way, most of the people who deal with uh, apologetics, dealing with Islam and polemics and so on, are like that. So if you steal stuff from Sam Shamoon, Sam Shamoon doesn't have any problem with that. I steal stuff from Sam Shamoon all the time. So mm-hmm. uh, feel free to, to steal stuff. But basically, uh, take the stuff that is is relevant to what you're doing. Um, 
make it powerful, make it persuasive, um, but also uh, learn from people who've come before you in terms of just how YouTube works, how the algorithm works, how titling works, things like that. Learn all that stuff. All that stuff's going to help you. All this stuff's going to give you an advantage. There's lots more to cover, but uh, um, yeah, I, I mentioned in a video earlier today that we're actually going to be putting together a training course because you can't just say it all in, in quick response to, to, to a comment. There's, there's a lot. It takes several days at least mm -hmm. to go through even the basics of, uh, of being successful. But one, uh, I'll focus, two, two points. One, content is king. In other words, good quality content is king. At the end of the day, if you're not having that, you're, you're not going to succeed. Content is king. Two, consistency is queen. I coined that. Oh, nice. Content is king. Consistency is queen. And what I mean there is consistent. You can have, you, you, if you got a great king, you need a great queen. And consistency is queen. And what that means is you got to keep it up. Um, too many people, too many people, they start off and they do YouTube and, you know, ah, you know, I've, I've done it for five months and I, you know, I still don't have a lot of results here. Guess what? That's every YouTuber out there. The difference between you and, and, and channels that really made it is those channels kept it up, right? They, they kept it up. So, so keep it up, keep it up and, and, and keep pushing uh, a couple more real quick. Uh, Carol in the super chat, she said, thanks for being you. And we have the pair again. What's with the pair? Um, there, there are lots of pair stickers, uh, player three in the super sticker says wrecked. And it looks like a hippo hippo, hippo school, a purple hippo, um, player three again, uh, with another, another hippo. So I, I actually, I, I like the hippo and, uh, apostate, <laughs> apostate prophet here says vocab, shave your beard, best do it live. I could shave this live because before we do the boom, boom room, I've got to get rid of every time. And then I look like an idiot for two weeks. We should, at least. We should, we should do that. We should do that when I'm out there. You can shave that uh, live. We'll be, uh, we'll do our, we'll do a, a live show, talk about some stuff. And then um, uh, you can shave that right before you become Muhammad. Matter of fact, uh, we can start off and then you can shave it and then you can go get into gear. Uh, I'll just talk to people while you're going and in, getting into gear. Then you can show up as Muhammad and then we can cut off uh, and then record our videos. By the way, we do need to tell people, uh, you know, we have extra uh, gear from Islamicize Me. And my point by saying that is from all the various things we've done as Muhammad in the current uh, Thobe mm -hmm. that we have, you know this. There's a big hole. Oops, I just – there's a big hole right here under one of the arms, and um, it's getting a few stains from the beard goo on it in a few spots. My point is – you may see Muhammad in a different thalb in the new year coming up uh, because that one's about ready to fall apart. I don't know if people noticed, but in the Santa Claus video, that was the first one where I had a slightly different beard and a yeah. different uh, kufi on. The old beard got too raggedy. We actually needed, but mm -hmm. I, I couldn't find the exact same beard. I didn't remember where I got it because I you know, got that a while back, but I couldn't figure out where I got it. Uh, look through all the channels I could come up with. And so we, I had to get the closest thing to it. But yeah, it's a slightly different beard uh, i don't think anyone noticed though so i think you're actually fine with i saw one person who noticed in the comments but by the way shout out to uh apostate prophet he's in the live chat gave a super chat and everything that's cool uh and anthony rogers said ha Sadiq." so this is back when we were talking about Sadiq. said mm -hmm. ha Sadiq abdul malik calls me all the time i've got all sorts of messages from him we, it, there can be a never-ending series of of uh of videos uh just going through Sadiq Abdul Malik. By the way, if you if you want to go back to something funny, I posted a video years ago. I'm talking like probably six, seven, eight years ago, titled uh I think it's called When a Jihadist Calls or When a Jihadi Calls or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you're like half asleep. Hey, by the way, is it about to be midnight where you're at? Don't we need to like Yeah, you've got like a it's like two two minutes and twenty seconds, dude. So Well, what do you need to do? Now here where I am at, it's only ten o'clock. Yeah, what no, what number are you on? 957. No, what number are you on on your list of 20 things that you've been talking about for three and a half hours? Oh, uh, install the security equipment. What what uh, number are you on? Do the second, uh, I got like six left. All right, how fast can you get through those six? Can you get I can through do them in two right minutes? Now. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, install the security equipment that yeah, we're getting that you mentioned today. Um, it needs to actually be installed. Um, do the second annual doctrine for the block 2020 and make it uh, better. Um, grow all my social media platforms. So I know we do YouTube, but I'm also on Instagram and social uh, and Twitter and Facebook. And, and people have been helping me do that. But I need to grow all those because it's a broader way to communicate about what's going on YouTube. Um, next, help ex this is a general goal. Help expand and grow the urban apologetics community. So not exactly the apologetics empire that you spoke of, but kind of helping it get its footing in this other other arena or other world. And lastly, film at least six more pro style YouTube videos where I'm kind of putting on the YouTube Ritz, you know, in front of the camera. It's hey YouTube and the kind of we did with the the just shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, at least six of those. But, 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 by the way, th those style. Uh... If you get the scripts ready, I'm pretty sure we could knock those out in a three-day period. In other words, if I come out on a Friday, I'm pretty sure we get those. Matter of fact, gosh, there's, just, there's no problem getting six out, right? Because, we, I mean, we've recorded six episodes of Boom Boom Room in one weekend, mm -hmm. and that's more that's that's more of a nightmare. Um, so, if you yeah, if you actually write them ahead of time, there's no problem recording uh, six. So, you the, anyway, the point was that's actually a goal that you could meet pretty quickly as, as soon as we're wrapped up with a season mm -hmm. of the boom boom room i'd be happy to fly all the way out there do all you could gosh you're like ah oh, i got david wood as my cameraman and editor <laughs> yeah. happy to do that man yeah, no so hang good. on though hang on we've got 20 seconds now i'm a little confused because 20 seconds really we're on a delay right everyone else is watching it like 20 seconds after us and so oh right so it's actually going to be New Year's for them before it is. All right, I'm just going to do it right now. It's New Year's. <laughs> that was kind of weak. <laughs> I got this from Walmart. Do it again. Do it again. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Let me catch my breath. <gasps> best i could do that was my that was my party signal that was my <laughs> timer did my face turn red i, I don't I know esau did it <laughs> all right people who weren't actually looking at the clock won't notice the uh little time difference there and won't notice that we had a little uh we had a little problem did cheryl r send me uh a massive super sticker there that's pretty cool uh anyway yes she out. did Shout yeah, it's a, it, it looks like it's a pair riding a rocket. <laughs> it's so dumb, but I don't know. They make these super stickers really actually likable. YouTube is uh, YouTube is smart with what they're doing there. Yeah, it's funny. It's appealing. Uh, <laughs> Did you hear about those um those two pairs that both got their PhDs? Gosh, why do you tell jokes, man? Yeah, yeah, they were a paradox. I'm glad I hear fireworks outside because it helps distract me from vocab's uh, jokes. In two hours, I'm going to hear. They're already doing it. I live in a uh, primarily Chicano neighborhood, and they love to shoot when it hits. They love to shoot up in the air, and they love to uh, – the fireworks just – it's like a nonstop party. But some of them get pretty loud, man. It's like, what, are the, what do they think about Cinco de Mayo? I don't know if that's that big of a deal here. I don't know. It's yeah. Not, I have to see. I don't know. That's I don't nice. know. Um, nice. Yeah, my son. My son Blaze was born on May fifth, so he's born on Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. I've had my friends tell me that that's just like an Americanized American thing. They don't care about much of Mexico. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, Christine S, welcome to twenty twenty, David. Thank you, Christine. Uh, let's see. Liza J, pair character with lovey dovey eyes, glowing red hearts in the air. <laughs> pair it's character funny. with lovey dovey eyes, blowing red red hearts in the air. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how Ecam describes them, right? That's a perfect description there. <laughs> um, Justice has the worst. Do you need to go to the bathroom? What's wrong with him? Oh, he's um. Just a minute, Justice. He's um. Justice must have eaten something. He's 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 uh, making the studio foul. I need to go light some candles. 
that's go, unacceptable. Go ahead and do that real quick. And uh, once you get back, we'll probably wrap up and, uh, All right. and then go ahead and close out. Uh, I'll just go through these super chats here. Uh, super stickers. Uh, let's see. Super M says Sheba Dog and Samurai. Oh, are these? Oh, so, okay. So here, that's hilarious. So you guys are giving the super chats. I mean, the super stickers and stuff. Is that is that the actual description? Oh, hey, this is hilarious, Vocab. This is Say hilarious. What? No, this is hilarious, dude. So, hmm. when I'm looking at, I'm so down here on my laptop, I have the video, right? I have the video mm -hmm. uh, as it's live streaming, and then uh, the chat, right? I have the chat over here, and so I look at it, and it says Super M, and then it has uh, the super sticker, which is it looks like some sort of dog holding a trophy right but yeah. when it gets when it gets imported into ecam it doesn't show me the picture right it says super m it gives the description instead of the actual super sticker so the description yeah. it gives the description it gives is shiba dog in samurai armor and i didn't even notice that was samurai armor but now that i'm looking at it it's clearly samurai armor but it's shiba dog in samurai armor holding uh -huh. a golden trophy it's just funny that that You've got this awesome uh, description when it goes into yeah. into ecam, uh, but there, you know, when you actually click on it, you get the picture. So anyway. there's a pe a pair doing a bow. So hang on, let's let's look at some of these other descriptions. The descriptions are the the, the, the stickers are cool, but the descriptions are also uh, epic here. So rocks B, um, hers is Sheba Dog saying good job while raising his thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know why, but the descriptions crack me up, man. Um, uh, let me see if I can scroll down. Uh, so, <laughs> and by the way, guys, uh, for, for what I'm post for, for the thing is I'm posting here, you can actually see them. You can actually see what the super sticker is. If you saw it when it was, when it was coming down, but, uh, here's Michelle Marie's and hers is pair character cheerfully blowing a party horn. These descriptions are awesome. And uh, so th those are for the super stickers and for the super chats. For the super chats, uh, we have Riaz here. It says, Happy New Year's. Thanks, DW, for inspiring us all for the glory of Jesus. Well, one thing I am, Riaz, is inspiring. Um, I'm joking there, but <laughs> if I ever manage to actually inspire anyway, uh, that's cool. Uh, all right, vocab, um, scrolling down. Did you get through all 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the last ones real quick. It's 21 if we count respond to Sabdiq Abdul Malik. <laughs> wait, wait, what was that? Someone someone posted. Someone, huh? po someone posted subscribe to Sadiq Abdul Malik. Does he have a YouTube channel? Yeah, he does. He does? Yeah, he does. If you go back way back in the day, his videos are like him with Revolution Muslim. Those are the guys who got locked up for uh terrorism charges and for th for threatening uh, the South South Park creators remember that stuff. In other words, yeah, the the, yeah. the other guys who were with them in the video, they they were locked up, uh, and there's and it's him as like their speaker down in like Times Square and stuff like that, shouting at people. So it's just funny that that's uh oh yeah, that's stuff wow. On YouTube. You you see what I'm talking about? Did you look it up? I'm looking him up right now. It looks like he's wait. Is he an older guy? Sadiq. I mean, yeah, he's not a young guy. He's probably I would guess. I'd guess. He has a 50, large would, white beard. He looks like the Islamic Santa Claus. I would guess late 50s or, or 60s, possibly. He's leaving voicemails like that, and he's an older gentleman? What, did you think he was a, like a young butt? I thought a guy like that would have had to have been seriously in Max's late 20s because the kinds of things he says, I always assumed he was like a, a guy in his young 20s who just kind of was very zealous. I cannot believe he's an older gentleman. Yep. That is... And this is eight years ago, so mm -hmm. he. I am shocked that he's an older gentleman. I'm. I had. I would have had no idea he. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's fascinating. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. Uh, <laughs> just trying to. We're going to close out here in a second. Uh, Liza J says, "God bless you, David and Vocab. Thank you for all you do to make it easier to join." Apostate prof. Apostate prophet added. Uh, join browser link in the description box 
video memojis. See, vocab, you're the one who came up with emojis for for my emojis of, of Muhammad. But the apostate prophet did you one better. He just uh, he just made uh, available his channel memberships today, and his are a bunch of. Uh, sort of his prophet looking uh I saw e emojis. the tears and yeah. stuff and, like tears yeah. ran down something like but that. he yeah, called so. his mo momojis that's awesome that's better than the one you came up with I'll still stick with emojis emojis but momojis that's pretty funny well it's like a series of progressions because you had some other one that wasn't that as good what? I can't, you had you had some other one I forgot what it was what do you mean I thought you had a title before that anyways I don't remember yeah, no, 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 no. I, I stuck with your title. As soon as you said emojis, I was like, oh, that that's awesome. I'm keeping that. But then, yeah, he came up with momojis, and that's just uh, that's just hilarious. Yes, it is. Shout out to Fired, Fireside Talker, who joined the Boom Squad, the greatest group in all of history. I think I'm going to set mine off, and I'm going to have to get the – you can start it and then add the I, the icon things later, right? Um, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and make your, make your icons, man, get them professionally made. Uh, I don't know. I'll cover the cost. If you want to have them made, just think about it. If you come up with something you want to make them, I will, uh, I'll get them for you. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. This is, this is, this is awesome. I don't know why I like this man, but sooner for now has a super sticker. It's the pair riding a rocket. And I know that in Ecamm, it's not going to show any of that. It's just going to give me a description if I can find it. Where is it? Come on. I want that. I really, <laughs> really want the description. The description is really cracking me up, man. Really. <laughs> Come on. Give me the description. I'm addicted, man. Gosh, You're I funny. can't find the description over here. You're funny, bro. I am funny. Yeah, it's been a very interesting year, man. If you think about it, man, it's like I, I view 2020 as the year of synergy, energy, momentum, movement. You know what I mean? Like that's that uh, no, unity, harmony moving forward. Like I view it 2020 as that year for YouTube apologetics. You know, I really do. Man, what are you like, Tony Robbins? I'm serious, man. Your inspirational speech. I could do that. You know, I could totally, I could be like, uh, 2020 <laughs> is the year of plenty. <laughs> you, you know, you can do a whole thing, man. <laughs> me, 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 and, me and Sam years ago, we were staying at a hotel and, uh, we were, uh, we were speaking at a, we were speaking at a conference and, um, <clears throat> we knew, we knew, uh, we knew we, we, you know, we might have 50, 60 people there or something like that. But at the same time, we were getting ready for uh, to go speak at, at this church we were speaking at. There was a Creflo Dollar. Mm. There was a Creflo Dollar event. Mm. And the hotel was basically packed out with people who were there for the Creflo Dollar event. And uh, that time, me and Sam said, you know, if we ever become atheists... We're actually going to become prosperity gospel preachers, right? In other words, we, we wouldn't really believe it, but we understand, hey, if you really want to get a ton of people following you, you just go and tell them, hey, God wants you to be rich. Can you make Jesus your choice? You'll get a Rolls Royce. We'll, uh, we'll keep telling them that, and then they'll, then they'll follow us. And the other thing we decided if we become atheists is that we're going to pretend to be to convert to Islam. And we'd be so <laughs> famous. We'd be yeah, so yeah, yeah. famous in the Muslim world that we'd get anything we want. Uh, fortunately for me and Sam, we both remain devout Christians, and so we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. 2020 uh, is the year of perfect vision, ladies and gentlemen. You just take those glasses off your face, turn to your neighbor, say, I don't need those anymore. Say, I don't need those anymore, because in 2020, I'll be seeing plenty. Ha! No, I got um, hang on. We have uh, – we... <laughs> I'm looking at this. So uh, what I see – what I see is the uh... – is uh, that pear-shaped thing on a rocket? But when I look at it up here, it's uh, the description is pear character riding a firework rocket disappearing away before bursting in the sky. Um, hmm. I don't know why, but I think the descriptions are cool. All right, we should go ahead and uh, wrap up vocab. Any final final thoughts? Final words? Did we you that... say you say wrap up? Oh, did you wanna? wrap things up for us 
why? It depends if we're thinking inside the box or outside the box. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, bro? You gonna do this? You gonna do this or what? Uh, shout out to Animesh says uh, thanks, D. Thanks, David Wood and Vocab. Happy New Year to both of you. Um, wait, what? What did you want to do, Vocab? Well, I thought you could beatbox and then I could just freestyle and close uh, it out. It's not. It's not off at all. Like if I'm beatboxing, mm-hmm. you hear me, and you can rap to it. Uh, you know what? I could try. There's no delay. On we'll, Skype, we'll, we'll, I could try to play a beat over Skype. No, I mean, I'm just, I'll give you a beat. I'm just saying there's no delay, right? I don't know because, well, I think it's. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me beating? Can you hear me beatboxing? Well, you're not. Is that clear? Yeah, let's try it. So you want to go for it? Let's try it. I'll, I'll keep a simple one. I'll keep a simple one. Don't want to make it too difficult. Okay, hold but on. try and keep it on topic, on the topic of uh, New Year's. Okay. Um, New Year's resolutions. Okay. Um, things you've been uh, planning and stuff like that. Making okay. 2020 epic. Things like that. You got that? Yep, I got it. All right, guys. We're going to go for it here. I'm going to beatbox, and we have vocab alone. He's got a freestyle for us. Ready? And this is cool because lots of lots of people who are on my channel who aren't on your channel, they don't know. You're, you're a freestyler. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Rapping ah for the kids. Talking about YouTube vids. Here we go again. Make a YouTube vids. Shout out to the cats though. Sick like SIDS. That joke straight messed up. Oh cap alone in the bin they messed up. What did I do? Not very cool. I broke my glass with an ice cube, dude. Not ice cube, the old school rapper. 2020, a brand new chapter. Yes, the deep. What's the factor? When I'm tired, I take a nap. With a boy at 17. Fit these rhymes for the old and teen. What we do? Gotta keep it clean. Gonna create apologetic machine. Yeah. Don't be a liar. This is the year for the new empire. It's galactic. I'm a Baptist. Oh, Cat Malone and David would rap this. Ah, like Jurassic Park. We're Tyrannus now in the middle of the dark. Wanna be saved? Jump on the ark. And Mr. John Mark was fool. The Boom Boom Squad. Lord, we rap for God. It's hard. It's not that hard. Just that do deep in the side, which means hurt. This work here. Of a game with no type first. Yes, ma'am. Sir, shout out to Anthony Rogers. You're a team. Like, what do you mean? A part of the scene. So, everybody go ahead and cheer. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! <laughs> uh, John Beaver said, uh, back up a little. Your beat is cutting out vocab. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. He was saying I was too close to the thing. All right, that's my fault, guys. We will yeah. we will master this art here. I didn't realize I was uh I was too close. Well, it helped it was about the right volume for me, so it's kind of hard to get it just right. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard when you. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, gu- well, guys, we will uh we will I will be out of vocabs and then we'll be side by side, which uh which makes it easier. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, any any last words to everyone, Vocab? Nah, man. I mean, I'm just um, you know excited about 2020, and I really do think those things are true. You know what you said in your video today, what we talked about today. Mm. Uh, the Lord's in charge, and every year brings new things. But I do believe in prayerfully submitting um, our plans to Him and getting wise counsel from others. So some people in the live chat are wise counsel. Some of you guys are idiots and I don't care about your opinion, but some of them are wise counsel. (laughs) And, you know, I I do think that's important. I love goals that also deal with other people, but in a positive way, you know, like trying to lift them up or help them out or bring them. I think that's great. And so um, I encourage people to do that. You know, yeah, we fail. We'll make mistakes here and there, but you know what? Uh, It's better to aim high, you know, 
aim for the stars and hit the moon is better than not aiming at anything and hitting it every time, right? Mm-hmm. That that's ac- that's actually uh, that's actually true, and 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 I, I actually tell my kids that I say, hey, make yourself a, a schedule of of what you're going to get done, and if you don't actually manage to get it done, guess what? At least if you tried, you will get more done than if you if you hadn't had a plan. Um, mm-hmm. And so it's good uh, it's good aiming for stuff. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, happy New Year to everyone, and uh, I'll have some awesome stuff coming for you. Uh, it's 1218 where I am. So it's technically today. I'll have some cool stuff out for you later today. All right. Catch y'all later. Thanks to vocab for, uh, for joining me. Yes, indeed. Happy new year, everybody. God bless. Looking forward to 2020 and happy new year.